Good time, how's day? All creatures of fire change ratings, and welcome back to Kingdom of Aldana. Where really it's more of the same, just without any rules breaking. So technically the name of the episode will be the same, and everything is the same. And really without further ado, Zarus is your turn. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As, I guess, while you consider, I'll give you a little bit of time. So again, as uh, Leos has breathed his fire into the throat of uh, Verandmir's giant dragon form, her body has begun to wither and crumble, revealing the smaller humanoid, well, elven-looking form with a glaive. It has... Used whatever connection with nature she has, creating a giant dome of undead or dead trees, uh, locking most of you inside of it, as uh, you, Zardos, and Trago find yourself very close to her uh, in this arena, while uh, Leos and your unconscious um, uh, passengers are currently hovering at the very top, uh, at the very top of the dome. Your back basically scraping uh, the um, uh, rooftop of this arena. Uh, so yeah, Zardus, you're the first to reorient yourself uh, with your superior dark vision. You do have line of sight, well, kind of line of sight on uh, the mass of dragons who is brandishing her glaive. Uh, dragon is right next to you. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh, man. <laughs> I will... Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Basically, yes. <laughs> Maybe she rolled the natural one this time. Maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> Who knows what she knows rolled for initiative, you know? You had a week to panic! <laughs> no panic now! All of the panic now. And I'll move over here. Because I don't feel like I can't make it all the way over there just yet, so I'll just from here. Uh, I'll give it a shot, just hit it with Scorching Ray from here. Alright, go for it. What level? Uh, just base, second level. Alright. As soon as I find it. Nineteen, twenty-one, and twenty-one. And uh, trying to test the waters, you release the three rays of your scorching ray. And uh, one of the misses while she swiftly dodges the second and the third one to the side. Nine of them hitting her, thus you kind of getting no information out of this. Let's put it that way. Uh, anyway, anything else you'd like to do? Um, Something around? No, that's, that's about it. Alright, and you stare at her intently. Uh, as uh, swiftly behind you, Trigger, you reorient yourself, your eyes oh, adjust to the Bone darkness. Action, drink potion. Oh, yeah, you do that. And I believe you too have slight uh, line of sight on the Master Dragons. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you before we continue, uh, your spear is currently active. Can you remind me how much light it creates? Uh, yes. It creates a bright light in a 20-foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. Alright, so I added second aura to you uh, for the purpose of Shadow Blade. Um, okay. Because the uh, bright white is your bright light. <laughs> hmm. Shadow Blade doesn't work um, Well, it does. Not as good. But it's your turn. I don't have it up right now. Right now it's still the... Uh... Well, I just remember that we forgot about it last time, because a lot of things yeah. were in your advantage. 
as you will find out in a moment. Uh, I would like to uh, meld into this tree with tree stride. All right. So uh, that's uh, that's ten, and then an additional ten feet of movement I need to use to get it. Well, to get to the to the trunk, you do need to go into the difficult terrain. Oh, okay. So well, that's uh, flying. Twenty. Uh, well, it, yeah, you can fly. In that case, yeah, it's just gonna be mm -hmm. not difficult terrain. So 15 to get up to the tree and 10 to go through the tree for 25. Okay. And then, uh, do I measure where I am currently or from the, like, the center of the tree? Uh, from the center of the tree, yeah. Okay. Um... And you'll basically have to exit within difficult terrain as well because pretty much all, every tree has 5 feet around it. As difficult terrain of roots and vines. Mm -hmm. Like the trunk uh, is usually like the 10 foot square or circle in the center. Yes, yeah, so I'll exit from from this side, like mm -hmm. this tree. Yeah. 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 So I'll do that. Uh, so I'm like, am I like here? here uh, uh, yeah. Five to the right. Yeah. Basically okay. on the dark terrain. <laughs> Okay. Got it. And you have five more feet of movement left if you so desire. Um if I yeah, I think your flank speed is only thirty, so yeah. As you're doing the power above difficult terrain move. <laughs> is it is it hmm? is it thirty feet or is it fifteen because like it was halved or something? Why was it halved? I'm drinking multiple uh, drinking muted. multiple potions. Don't remember. I think I mean, so. He yeah. didn't get his potion of strength, and he only yeah. rolls a one d two. Yeah. I'm not sure if the third one was affected too, but I. I don't remember. I think so. So. Yeah, in that case, in that case, you let's say that this is it. Okay. Your moment. Okay. Um. Then. Question. Yeah. Can I hold? an action to trigger the aura of vitality even though it's wait i'll link it okay so it takes an action to cast it but i can still use bonus action to cast it in my tree form okay can i hold a bonus action no no okay um there's a one disadvantage of getting to cast all spells as bonus actions you can't hold them yeah then no reason to really cast mm. it now if you get to it, doesn't mean you have to. Uh, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me check. Mm. No, it says can. Can. So I mean, can I guess you can cast it as an, as an action or use the action to hold it. So, yeah. Yeah, but then can I trigger it when no. they come close to me? Yeah, I so mean, no um, like ba basically, foot radius. I mean, no, they are not within your radius. Uh, like basically, in order to hit somebody, you'll still need to use your bonus action, and the only way to use your bonus action is on your turn. Yeah. Um. Can I currently? Am I in cover, or can I currently see her? Um. Let's see. What's your line of sight? Uh, right now, no. Uh, there's no cover. Okay. Ah, oh, there's no cover. No. Okay. Uh, then I will uh, chuck Sun Warrior to her. At fair. her. Go for it. Uh, so I think that's disadvantage because it's uh, it's 30 feet and the range on Sun mm -hmm. Warrior is 20 feet without disadvantage. Yeah. Well, 24 does hit. And your Sun Warrior embeds it in her armor. Uh, not hurting her much. And you notice that the radiant light of your Sun Warrior is almost like dimmed or diminished when it enters within certain range of her. Uh, but uh, that is definitely the first wound you put upon her new form. Okay, and as a bonus action, I call it back to me. 
All right. Can I quickly ask the... Yeah. She still seems resistant to the radiant damage, right? I mean, you're not there. Okay. <laughs> but by that defin but that by that description I can assume as such. That's why I have described it for you, yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right, it's so else? yeah, that's my movement, uh action and, and bonus action. action. Alright. In that case we go to initiative twenty, which is a lair action. And as her lair action, uh and considering the new course of action, she turns towards you. And goes, I'm not sure if I'll kill you first or second, but let's get rid of that first. And stretches her hands towards your spear and tries to suppress it. And it goes, an artifact? Huh. Interesting, because it doesn't work. That's her lair action. Uh, Rubius, I believe, needs to make a death saving throw. Come on, net 20, net 20. That net never 20, happens. Net 20, that net just 20, net never 20. happens. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's a fail. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right. Um, where were we? Yeah. Uh, new initiative. Uh, Aris, outside of the dome, you awaken in the ruins of the yes. fallen Heron's uh, Talon with five hit points just gained. Heron's you don't wing, quite yes. see, yeah, the, her, the Heron's Wing, you don't quite see the bodies of its other passengers mm -hmm. from your position as you were on the deck. Yeah, and all I care about is the, um, looking at that dome as I am grappling myself up. I am trying to see the dome, trying to get an idea of where the center of it is. And um, since I just don't want to hit a wall. Last time I think I needed to make a, make a perception check. Uh, last time you made the perception check to notch as a dome. Yes, should I do that too? Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, if you want to look at dome to accurately ascertain its size and more accurately choose your teleportation position, then yes, you'll need to make a perception check as an action. Okay, no, then fuck that. I'm just gonna use my bonus action to convert um, six for three points into a level 4 spell slot and I will dimension door at random or whatever for what I think uh, the middle is and tides of chaos and three zero sorcery points that's not search um well since you don't know the middle so like how far you're going and in which direction I mean more or less to where I teleported from in the first place, back to the ship, well, because that was like right under her ass or some shit back then. I can't, I if I don't see the other map, I can't give you anything exact much. I'd like, I don't think anything he does here is exact. No, you I are on the me... ship. Hmm? You are on the ship. Yeah, but I teleported from under her ass to the ship. Oh! Time. And I just basically had the idea of just going back there. But uh, I'm also fine with just rolling the D100 to see up where I turn out. To see where I turn out. Whatever you like. Let's see. Mm, yeah, roll me D100. Mm -hmm. I think this gets you... I think the destination... About there. About, oh, over there. Can you give me dark vision? Uh, I did. Uh, 
Thank you. I will look around and not see anyone for a second. If I, um, but I see Trego's light from here, right? Basically, since he's a light uh, source. Actually, oh. yes. Um, yeah. You will. Uh, I can't set up it properly because of no, the no, way... In that case, that's just um, all I'm going to do is uh, move towards Trego for 30 feet. And that's the end of my turn. And because I forgot, Trigo still had an extra D8 psychic damage on his weapon. Does it work on oh. ranged attack? Yeah, it, that's on his weapon. Okay. Does it work on the the 1D2 also? That's a large or a good question. Uh, You're the throwing it, so yes. I don't know. The 1D4 from the potion... I mean, it was half because of the potion effect, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, technically, yes. Uh, your weapon will deal that extra damage uh, because you are slightly enlarged. You're technically not your current size, but slightly bigger, which I will actually give you in a moment. Uh, mm -hmm. However, let's put it that way. This is the last time I'm allowing you to do anything retroactively in this session. Because I'm being very hard on myself about the things I've forgotten. And this damage should not happen, because you forgot about it. So this is the last time. So, uh, roll it or no? Yes. Okay. Alright. Seven more points. Okay. Uh, so that was... Wait. My turn was just happened. Why did I lose your token from initiative? Oh, I know why. Because why? you had me down there, and I had myself over here to the left hand. And you deleted yourself. I deleted that one that had. Oh, what was your initiative? Like Fourteen. Fourteen. Also, I think it should be before Rubus because I think Rubus no. has it. No. Okay. No, he has plus two decks apparently. Oh, all right. I have plus zero. That's not bad for an old man. <laughs> uh, right, let me just the point of view on my recording. And yeah, so just like treats like Trago's aura, as you can see, because yeah, I can't set it up mm -hmm. separately, sadly. Of course. Not with the current Roll20 system. Um, okay. Uh, in that case, as I adjust my initiative correctly, um... Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, very uh, matter. Kind of like... Like rubs the spot where the serious spear at her. Looks above at the floating Leos. And... She's gonna do the tree jaunt. And basically appear... Like... Say twenty. Uh, yeah, out of the tree from the other side and walk um, from behind you, so to speak. Whereupon she targets her glaive at you and uses it to attack you. As, like, at this range, she doesn't even really need to extend it. She just slashes at you with powerful, accurate thrusts. Uh, okay. No advantage, no disadvantage, nothing. She'll just straight rolls. And she's gonna use it three times. Oh. Well, now that's a roll I can get behind. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. 17 to hit? 1 7, yeah. That misses. I know! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> the natural two? Uh, uh, 27 to hit. 27 oh, uh, hits. Can I parry it? I have one parry left. Yeah, I have one parry. 23 plus 3? No, I won't be able to parry it. Is, is it. is it only plus 3 you parry? Okay. Uh, um, so, 27 hits and a 26 to hit. No, that. No, wait. No. 
Oh, you yeah, still can't, can't fairy. that either. All right. So she unleashes three attacks upon you. Uh, the first one missing, the second one uh, dealing, uh, wow, 17. One seven slashing plus 18 necrotic damage. And then she does her third strike that hits for 12 slashing and 23 necrotic damage. And with her third strike, she chooses to uh, grapple and restrain you, uh, as okay. I do by the thingy. And uh, for her last streak, she will use her leadership ability. Uh, as you basically just hear her utter, Oh, spirits of the forest, come to my aid! And that's it. Uh, all right. All right. I forgot about her legend reactions. Oh well, later. <laughs> uh, all right. End of your turn. The spirits of the forest come to her aid as the assassin vine entwining the tree right next to you comes to uh, well action, I guess, movement, activity, and attempts to constrict you. Uh, which it does not most likely. Check, no. Uh, no, 14 to hit. It fails to grab your leg. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, alright. And... And, and, and... Was the range on that crap? All right, and so does the one big tree next to Arles. It's gonna wow. attempt to go for Arles. <laughs> Eleven to hit. I don't even need to use shield. Yeah, but I want to use shield. Yes, uh, yes, I want to use shield. I mean, I don't think you can. Because you need to use shield on an attack that hits you, I believe. Not targets. This one doesn't say. Let me read. I think it like says whenever a creature hits you with a weapon attack, you can trigger it. Come on, where is the shield spell? You are right. I need to be hit. The yep. Amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reaction when you hit. Mm. Those are the only wines that do anything right now, uh, which means that I mean, Trek is the only one there. So at the end of the wines turn, she's gonna slap you with uh, another glaive attack, I guess. Uh, <laughs> With an 18 to hit. Misses, yeah. Yeah, she not only misses you, it means you're no longer restrained because she removed restraint to hit you and she missed you, so you're neither grappled nor restrained. Oh, that sucks. Cool. Uh, but now it is uh, Leo's turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I will do the following. Um, first of all, I will use. Um, I'm still hasted, which means I have a flying speed of 160 feet. Which means I will Maybe. fly down uh, as far as I can to the ground. I think I should be able to do that. To fly down and. Uh, you it. are, yeah, you are 100 feet in the air, so with 160 you can go. You know what? I go wherever you want. Need to... uh, I don't really need to go that far. Anyway. Uh, with my hasted action, I will attempt to bite the mother of dragons. Okay. Uh, so you basically um, hover right on top of her, right? Yeah, just just hover so yeah. uh, uh, close enough that I can can bite at her. Yeah. So in that case, um, you'll need to be basically like, you no, know, ten feet of the ground. No, well, I mean, whatever your reach is, actually, if you wanna um, do that. My reach is 15 feet. I think, 20, with your 15 head. feet. Yeah, so you change your height to 15 feet. Uh, okay. Um, so that's 
15 feet. Huh? With my hasted action, I will attempt to bite her. Uh, go for it. Uh, that's a miss. That is a miss hit. indeed. Yeah. And I will hold my action okay. to dash to uh, 100 feet upwards when Trego heals Melora and or Rubius. I will say, heal them both if you can. Okay. Because I will be a flying battleship of sorcerers in my hands <laughs> that I just hold out and l let them shoot down. Uh, expectation. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> well, right. yeah, I will hold them. As a, I will fly like... Uh, um, I will fly... Um, yeah. yeah. You hold out fly. Melor and Rubis in your claws and you go, Heal thy burgers! <laughs> yeah, I will. I will hover uh, essentially there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, and yeah. All right. So hold action for, for the moment when either one of them is uh, is being healed. All right. Uh, at the end of the turn, uh, she's gonna use command allies, a legendary action to command uh, the wine to try and grab you, Leos, because she definitely heard you say that. So the wine attempts to lash at you with a 12 to hit. It like snags your claw and just breaks. So no deal. All right. That's good. And uh, these bring us to Milora's turn. I believe you have one failed death, and I think that's it. So roll your well, things, roll. Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Let's hope, let's hope me rolling it already didn't that got it out of the way. I can't look uh, at it. Is it a one? No. no. It's a okay, uh, well that's not nine, a one. I mean, no, it's, it's actually fail. more. She gets plus six. Uh, oh, yeah. actually she does. Yeah. So that's actually a success. Yeah. Yes. Whew. Yay! I mean, I'm still gonna spend this. Yeah. I'm still spending this turn d down, but... Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's not gonna matter, but... Alright. <laughs> uh, and uh, you tell him we were correct indeed. She did roll a natural one on her initiative. <laughs> so with this round oh is over, God. and we come to round nine. And Zardos. You see, quite a... Bunch of fireballable people, <laughs> very close to each other. Yeah, I do. We have so much power for all. Actually, it was, it was kind of good you went after her, Leos. It was good. I mean, yeah. For you, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for me it was good, yeah. Alright, so that was, yeah, your turn. So that was your moment? Yeah. Alright. Uh, what's the rules on creating spell slots again? Uh, you roll on the table with very low chances of it working properly. Because you're trying to deny the third law of thermomagics. Okay. Um, I mean, it might work, depending on how high you want to go. I mean, worst case scenario, you're gonna fireball yourself. Oh, dice. So the higher the higher spell slot to go for, the yeah. lower the chances? Exponentially. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Alright. Which level are you going for? Third. Third. Alright, let me calculate it. Well, you roll me the D100 meanwhile. While I go third. Huh. Uh... <laughs> you must a tracker! It works! 
<gasps> what were you trying to test? <laughs> you know, you know what the DC was? Ninety. <laughs> 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 it works as intended. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Uh, yeah, I'm just firing. Mm. Uh, so I assume you direct it to not hit your friends? Yes. Uh. What is that? I don't know what it's doing. So, anyway. something like this. Oh, something like that. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's a good idea. All right, yeah. So, you do that as a giant shadow sky appears in darkness, almost invisible, and swipes uh, the area above uh, the Renmer. She attempts to dodge it, and she okay, is I'm getting her in the tree. Nope. Uh, what's your DC? All right, DC. 17. Alright, so she dodges, which means she takes only half of that, which is what, like 14? Mm -hmm. uh, the tree obviously fails to dodge. <laughs> so you see the uh, wine getting uh, slashed by the uh, pendulum, although it is thick and durable, so you don't think you've killed it. Uh, but uh, your strike of the spell does send the dead uh, tree collapsing, creaking, and it and actually falls uh, between uh, her and uh, Trega. Is it like how tall is it? So like can uh, five feet tall. Or? So you can okay. see like at your. Positions there would be cover both for you and for her, uh, but yeah, you can see about it. Otherwise, it's gonna be too annoying. Uh, okay, anything else? Movement, action? Uh, yeah, I already got my movement. That was my action. And that's it. All right. Uh, in this case, Trigger, it is your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, I can hover for 15. So... I think I will... Yeah, I'll hover here. Uh, wait, what? Well, I can't see the grid because of all these auras. Yeah, I mean, you are bigger than the grid because of your enlarged spells, so just... That's good enough. I was, yeah, I was trying to get in within, like, five feet of her, yeah. That's you are okay. definitely within five feet of her. Okay. You're basically okay. hovering right above the tree, and she's, like, in front of you, below you, and you're, like, this... I don't know... What is this, like... Eight, nine foot tall golden demigod? Well, not golden, but... Not golden yet. Uh, oh, yet. <laughs> I do heal for 10 hit points because of my uh, form. Eh? Good thing you remembered. I should stop eating the cookies. This is so good. As a bonus action, yeah. I will cast aid at third level Okay. upon uh, Melora, Rubius. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, sure. Mel Melora, Rubius, and myself, which I already have. So does like it add another extra five hit points? Okay. So that's the bonus. Action. So you're you're the only one who has aid, right? Yeah. So uh, you well, no. Uh, I think I've cast it before. All right. Let's put it that way. You're the only one who has aid marker on you. In that case, can I? I mean, I did cast it before, probably. I mean, if you'll let me cast it on level 2 on Melora and Rubius, I will definitely do that, but... Uh... I think I've already casted it before like this. I don't think on, the... on Melora. Oh, let me check something quickly. Yeah, All right. I, I can say she never had blessed the fight. Uh, Melora has blessed. 5... I mean, aid. Melora has 5 hit points more than she should have. So she definitely was supposed to have eight, but she forgot about mm -hmm. it. 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure Rubius was supposed to have more as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. yeah. Okay, so I will use a third level spell slot to cast in a better aid <laughs> at, uh, at the people I just mentioned. So I've also got to heal myself up. Come on, five. Rubius, I want to place a marker on you. Oh, there it is, it's the first one. And Jesse, put one on yourself as well. Yes. Alrighty. So I guess that triggers uh, Leos's, or what you might call it, held action. Yeah. Yes. So basically, Rubius and Milora get five current and plus five maximum hit points. Uh, well, in general, plus ten, but yeah. Yeah. So let me adjust Rubius maximum hit points and. Oh, for sure. Did, yeah. I did it. And okay. Melora should have 218 maximum right now. And 5 current. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, so that was your bonus action. Uh, Leos, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna dash up to... What did they say? 100 feet, right? Alright. Uh, as you leave her reach, she will swipe at you with her glaive. Would I know, uh, could I approximate at what time that happens? Uh, about is... 60 feet of the ground. Okay. Question. I think you do if, have... Uh, on my turn, you. can I use a reaction to attack her, attacking him? Uh, I think you can. Uh, post Sentinel and chat while I resolve her attack. Mm -hmm. uh, she hits you with a 27. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you take uh, 12 uh, slashing damage. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 necrotic, and you are mm -hmm. currently restrained uh, 60 feet of the ground. Ah, oh, okay. As her glaive basically launches itself and like stabs you through your foot, prohibiting you from Fuck. Uh, uh, going okay. higher. Yeah. Grappled and restrained. Uh, oh, so also grappled, okay. Well, the restraint is good enough. Really. Okay. Uh, when you kill five feet of you, makes an attack against the target others than you. You can use reaction. Yeah, I don't see why not. It says nothing about turns. So twenty-seven to hit, and that's extra damage with yeah. the that's one D two. Wait, what? It didn't work. I advise you to create uh, extra these. Yeah. Yes. I advise you to create uh, like on your character sheet. You can turn on like additional damage sources, and you can input this damage into them and mark them. Uh, where you can also the... add them in a description if you put uh, uh, double brackets uh, like this uh, um, in in there. Ah, uh, in the description. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Whoop. Someone's taking me. Yeah, uh, in your settings, I'm uh, marking the show global damage modify field, and now in your core, under your like attacks and spell casting, you can input global damage modifier, which let's put, let's, don't, no, don't touch it, I'm showing you. Let's oh, put okay. it uh, one half and large is one uh, D2 piercing, so like this. And mm -hmm. then add another one, and oh, it's cool. uh, Mind Razor, it's 1d8 Psychic. And That's if cool I mark both of them, they're just gonna, they're gonna roll whenever you make an attack. Okay, uh, awesome. Alright. But you roll them right now, so no need to do anything. No. And yeah, as okay. she opens herself to launch attack at... Leos, uh, you stab her with your spear, and you notice that she wasn't able to react to your attack, meaning that your attack has connected. Uh, in any case, uh, you still have an action. action. Yeah. Yep. Um. Huh. Ha, huh, indeed. Should I 
Ugh. Which you could probably... Oh boy, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, attacking is just some extra damages. <laughs> uh... It's just some extra damage, says the main Love damage it. dealer. What do you I... want it to do? Dance for you? I'm not. I'm not the main damage dealer, especially with all those resistances. Yeah, sure. Um. Yes, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna attack twice. I mean, it's called Zal just a damage dealer. If he ever hit his attacks. I had uh, a whole ooh. game of hitting stuff. That's yeah, happy. yeah. Yeah, that game doesn't <laughs> count. We're replaying it. <laughs> all right. Like, uh, one, one whole yeah. game session we played where I hit everything. That's All right. Great. Yeah. That's uh, great your first strike, uh, you kind of misjudge uh, the height a little bit, and she du ducks underneath it while still holding onto the glaive. But your second one, you aim true, and with a twenty-nine to hit, uh, it uh, connects. Uh, oh, and draw this together. So that's uh, fifty piercing, uh, twelve uh, radiant, and eight uh, piercing plus. Uh, Shouldn't it be six radiant? Yes, it is. Sorry. Okay. Just because you said it like that, my bad. Mm. Mm. Uh, one moment. I think I fucked up. I didn't. All right, all good. Uh, all right, I think that's the end of the turn. Okay. Um, that's a bonus action. Action. Uh, some movement, not a lot of movement. Uh, I could. Oh, you used your moment. Right to get out of the thingy. Ah. Well. 10 feet. Look, unless yeah. you're gonna get some action surge bullshit out of your bag of holding, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, so I will action surge bullshit now. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. All yeah, right. You didn't, don't remember I gave him action surge. So as Trigger goes, oh! he has a heart attack and dies, uh, trying to replicate class abilities he doesn't have. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's end of your turn. Uh, layer actions. Uh, all right, with this layer action, uh, she's gonna do the only sensible thing that she can do, uh, which is she will animate the uh, tree that uh, Zardos has cut down as it stands up. Oh, I thought that tree wasn't. No, that was the vine. Wasn't it dead? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Your point. No, nothing, sorry. And prepares to fight. The only one with undead around here. That was their action. Rubius! Who is, by the way, neither Rubius nor Meloro should be unconscious anymore. Just saying. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Um, well, um, since uh, uh, he is going to do the following, uh, can, can he reach Melora from his position? I don't see Melora, she's under the token. Uh, she's what? above. It's just, she's she's been constantly below my dragon token for the whole time. I can't see her. I have no idea where she is. <laughs> is she um on my screen? She's right him. next to him. Okay, yeah. if she's right next to him, uh, then uh, he'll Super do the strange. following. Um, he will use his master transmuter stone and and destroy it. To remove all curses, diseases, poisons eff 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 uh, affecting uh, Melora and also restore her uh, uh, entire hit points. I think it's one or the other. I'm pretty sure no, it's one of the other. An... 
the creature also regains all hit points. Okay. The uh, other one would be to cast uh, uh, Raise Dead without a spell component. Is so... the wish thing a curse? I don't think it no. can be removed, can it? That's one Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, looks like it. Why are you not working? Also, yeah, the, with the also, yeah. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, it's that way in the, in the PHP too. Huh? Yeah, Ooh. okay. That, that, sure. Damn. And he will... Uh, he will then, uh, so technically he's prone because he was unconscious and he's held in yes. the claw by Leos. So uh, he will use half of his movement to unprone himself and then fly 30 feet up. All right. And uh, that's his turn. Oh, wait, does he have bonus actions? I don't think so. Wizards don't have bonus actions, do they? Well, he could miss this step. Yeah. All right. Yeah, his uh, end of his turn. Okay. At the end of his turn, is the turn of Arles. <laughs> 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 um. Oh, let me have some fun. It's not gonna last for long. I am. You going had some to... Use my action to get Nidala. Oh no, do I still have? No, I didn't get her out. Nidala yet. is um, somewhere. No, she's in the back of holding because I didn't use her last time. Do I was you on the other back. And do the you have the holding. back of holding? Yes, no, I always have is. the back of holding. Okay. Um, yes. And I will use my action to get Nidala out of the back of holding, speak her name, and then get on top of her. And dry take to the skies. <laughs> More markers for the god of markers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I will rise forty feet. Oh no! I need to take. Oh, there's too many marks. Oh no no no! I'm not charmed anymore. This still applies. Okay, get rid of the rest. <laughs> fuck them! Fuck them! <laughs> and that's why you use paper. <laughs> yeah, for height, that would probably be better too. Okay, so, but it, this is important for you too. And then. These markers were never am... made to be more like than five of the maximum. I am going to quicken <laughs> the beautiful uh, synaptic static at level six. Alright. Using my. Uh, I don't even think this is spell upcasts. I don't think so. I think it has. Doesn't it do more damage? Probably not, even. I think it's one of the. But I'm checking. Um, I'm also no. going to check a few other things. No, no, no upcast, upcast, right? No upcast. Mm -hmm. Round Damn it! Two sorcery points. Yeah, that's a surge. Let's go, surge. Oh, no. <laughs> Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, we'll take it. option two. Fuck that. I don't want to sure? add more. Yeah, let's not add any fucking tokens to this. You wanted to bring a unicorn in? No, it wasn't a unicorn. I would have brought a unicorn. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we need <laughs> unicorns. Unicorns, unicorns are, are very good. All right, roll the ten. Um, if and then I can drink some unicorn blood. Yes. Nice. I am now older. Excellent. You finally can grow a beard. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Tides of Chaos is off. Uh, can, did she make an intelligence saving throw? Not yet. Please tell me her natural role when she does. A second. Intelligence, intelligence. Uh, 14. Also, I would like to target Tree Boy 2 here. You know? uh, like, find a space where I can target them both, but not Trego. Sure. I mean, I think he has enough. Yeah. But 14 was her natural yes. roll? I mean, might as well fucking try. Bend luck downwards. Okay. 
she now has a 10. All right. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, how much damage was it? Nine. 29. Did you roll extra damage for the sorcerer? But did I roll max damage? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Don't forget anything. <laughs> hey, okay. You, you know, you know, you know, if you didn't roll it, and then of session I went, you know, guys, you're all dead, but she has two hit points left. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Succeed. it affects her, but you don't see it. Uh, I'm asking because of muddled thoughts if I need to yeah. post it the entire time or not. No. <coughs> no. Okay. Not the hell. So half damage. And uh, I have used movement, bonus action, and action. Uh, okay, good on you. Are you done? That's Yes, that's what I was trying to say with that, yes. Alright, at the end of your turn. Oh, I would like to have some fun. Okay. All right. So using the fact that Trigger has just hit her, she's gonna disengage her restraint on uh, this as her glaive retracts. Mm. And she just walks right about there. And you see... Opportunity attack? She has no I, reaction. Uh, I already did it on my okay. turn. That sounds weird, but yeah. Oh, Wait. okay. Did yes. I get... Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, and she, like, takes this stance, this white stance with her with her glaive, and then it's just <laughs> the giant whirling sweep that cuts through the forest and hits Zardos, Trega, Arles. I'm 40 feet up. Oh. Uh, ah, my fault. Uh, you can trace. move back to a space that would be closer where she wouldn't be hitting me because she can't hit me if you want. Eh, it sounds like she wants to be close to Trega anyway. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so Trega and Zardas. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? What saving throw? Dexterity. Oh, dexterity. Close, Sardis. What's a D4? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally made it. Uh, very close. One tree. Yeah. <laughs> that tree go down. Hey, those are some mighty strong saves there. Good job, yeah, guys. Uh, can, you tell me, <laughs> can you tell me those saves? We they both fail. They fail. <laughs> no, no, no. 13 definitely makes it. 13 oh. makes it. Okay. No, it doesn't. Fuck. I right. think a 25 yeah. wasn't even making it. So she cuts down two of the trees. Of the small ones. And you, ladies and gentlemen, you gentlemen, because the gentlemen take, oh, that's a big, well, relatively big roll, a 61 point of slashing damage. Okay. Casual. Uh, DC 13 con check. And you see her drain the blood with her glaive, with her wounds. Somewhat recover. Yeah, uh, DC 30 ne con check for Zardos. I'm not concentrating. Is that uh, necrotic damage in there? Uh, slashing, no. Okay. Zardos? All right. You make plans. So you lose your concentration on a mind razor. Uh, Trigger, uh, uncheck the mind razor in your damage modifiers. Because that's good. Okay. All right. That was her action, and she gets her legendary actions back. And uh, 
Aber jetzt hat Turn. Ähm, niam, 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 niam. Tree next to Trigger. With its muddled thoughts. He is gonna attempt to attack Trigger. He's gonna try to. What do muddled thoughts do? Uh, Minus D6. X, yeah. Uh, well, that's a miss anyway. That's a natural one. And branches. Anyway, and that's a miss anyway. Yeah, so the tree flails at you, but you're not sure if it's even like aiming correctly because it's not doing anything to you. Uh, however, yeah, I think at the end of uh, the tree's turn. She will uh, send uh, one more glaive attack at the dragon who is still within reach. Uh, she moves. No, no. She's still within reach. Oh, that's a 27 to hit. Common number. Wait, who is she hitting? Dragon. Me? Dragon, you're not a dragon. Ah, uh, dragon, okay. Yes. Was that, was that a 27 to hit? Yes. Yeah, that for sure hits. Yeah. So that's gonna be, well, she restrains you with this because. She's like, well, you thought you were gonna get away. <laughs> uh, and you take 17 points of slashing damage mm -hmm. and 20 necrotic damage. Okay, you gotcha. Draw the majestic glaive because I'm so <laughs> artistic. Well, just so that we don't forget about it. Um, yeah. uh, I'm still resisting. Yeah, and it's your turn. Token. It's my yes. turn. Um, she caught you just in time. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay. Well, um, is there a chance for me to free myself from this? Uh, I mean, you can certainly try. It is a grapple. Um, it's an action to what, strength check or something. Uh, athletics, acrobatics. But that would be my main action. Yes. It would be your main action. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, oh, that tree might be a problem for Trago. Really? I, I really want to find this. Has, has anybody ever offended Trago that much before? <laughs> He's too dumb to be offended. <laughs> What do you guys 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 think? Sh should I attempt to uh, 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 get myself free from the grapple, or should I just attempt another fire breath on her? In the end, you want to get in melee range, right? I don't know. No, my pri primary goal is to keep Melora away from. from yeah, keep Melora away. I mean, yeah, true. she's pretty healthy you now. Mm, you can try fire breath. Does it reach though? Yeah. Yeah. It's 60 feet right. away. And uh, since you're 60 feet in there, you have this convenient, basically, column of fire that won't hit anybody else, basically. Yeah. It's a 90 foot line. So. Well, yeah, she try didn't it. take any damage the last time I did this. Up to you. Maybe that was her dragon form. I don't know. No idea. If yeah, only the Scorching Croy has hit, you would have known. <laughs> yes, yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that damn ray. That's where it all began. No, the damn I ray. I yeah, if I should have forgot about the uh, bless at the, that round. That's oh, I, I think your rolls were lower now. They were, oh, well, it was 21 and 21. No, 221. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well? Yeah, that's why I was adding it now. Make sure to add blessed everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's why I told you we we'll always fuck up because this is a lot of shit to remember. Yeah. My movement speed currently is zero because I'm restrained. Yes. So. And grapple? Not grapple. It's the same, same in the end. Yeah. Um. You can't dodge because your movement speed is zero. So I can't dodge with my uh, action. Well, let's find out. 
Let's what else? find. I will hold my action. All right. Ah, fuck it. I'll fire breath her. Right. Let's see if if uh... does anything here. Yeah. yeah. Come on. All right. So you follow 58. the line of your of the glaive that holds you pinned this time, driving you like a harpoon through the wing, and you exhale a column of fire that momentarily eliminates the darkness of this arena and almost blinds your eyes that have gotten used to darker uh, exterior. As the flame goes down, you see the burnt out ground around Veron Mare and her standing there completely unharmed. Oh, now we know. Yeah. Now um, we know. That was my action. Hasted action. Uh, what else? It's completely used useless right now i think disengage the restraint minutes you can <laughs> attack the weapon to get up can i attack the weapon uh i'm gonna say no okay uh not unless you're a fighter <laughs> can you hold okay. your can you hold your hasted action no I mean, there is like a rule that you can disarm somebody in DMG. You can try that one out. I think there is a rule for that. If there is, there I'm is, happy, there is, but I'm happy to it. try it out, but um, it's really up to you. Is that like attacking the weapon or something? Disarm. Um, oh yeah, you can use a weapon attack to knock a weapon and another item from a target's grasp. The attacker makes an attack roll contested by the target's strength, athletics, or acrobatics check. Uh, if the attacker wins the contest, the attack causes no the attack causes no damage or other ill effect, but the defender drops the item. You have advantage on the roll if the target is holding the item. Oh, you have disadvantage if the target is holding the item with two or more hands. And she's definitely holding the glaive with two hands because it's a fucking glaive. But I could attempt it. I could attempt it, yeah. Uh, well, I won't do yeah. anything else with my hasted action otherwise, yeah. so I'm uh, I'm willing to attempt it. Huh? 18. Which, finally enough, so that's your it's a disadvantage. Finally yeah. enough, she also has disadvantage on her check because she's smaller than you. <laughs> uh, but it's aesthetics for her, that's for sure. And if I remember correctly, she had really good aesthetics. No. Oh. You strike the glaive, it vibrates, but you notice that it actually like bends as you strike it, and the shaft itself absorbs most of your strike, meaning that she yeah. doesn't even have to hold on to it all that much. Okay, oh, I will put Melora on, on, on my back so right. she can move freely if she wants to. Um, and she has, you know, my big body gives her a bit of cover, maybe. Oh, well, maybe. Know. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> we'll find out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's my turn. All right. Um, at the end of your turn, uh, she's gonna legendary action command allies. Uh... So the wine on the tree next to Trager is gonna attempt to grab him. Uh, well, 18 to hit, it fails. And the tree next to you attempts to bite you. Oh, I thought this one was this one. What? Yeah, that's because this tree too. fell, right? It Between makes no us. sense. Uh, yes, that's the tree, yeah. So that was the vines over there. No, oh, like, okay. Like, vines are still yeah. alive. Yeah, this got me is a tree that was animated from the tree that was cut down by Zardas. So it. the tree trunk got cut down, then got up and started killing you. But anyway, mm -hmm. it tries to bite you, but especially with it, again, kind of failing to aim correctly. Uh, it's kind of like glancing blow of your shield as it does nothing to you. Uh, but it was a legendary action and now it is a tree's actual turn as it just continues its assault on you. 
uh, a tristone, uh, root uh, 14, natural 20. Muddle thoughts. <laughs> natural 20. Uh, yeah. So you're grappled. You're grappled. <laughs> and then it's gonna bonus action attempt to bite you again because it succeeded to grapple you. 16, that's a miss. And two branch attacks, 13, which misses, and 26. But minus a d6 can help. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me roll that. I roll one d6. <laughs> minus 6, 20. Yeah, misses. <laughs> so you're just grappled. All right. Uh, by the way, uh, Leos, you're forgetting to do your timer. It's oh round yeah, nine. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I was exclusively pe uh, looking at yeah. the round counter. Oh, well, yeah. All right, uh, Milor, it's your turn. You have recently come to consciousness, being held in the claw of uh, Leos, and then Rubius kind of reached out and smashed his stone against the chest. And suddenly, all your wounds have healed and. You still feel fucking weak, like you won't be able to lift the kitten, and your whole body hurts. But at least you're not bleeding from every orifice, every orifice. And then you just put you on his back, but you're still kind of like lying there, so you're prone. All right, so I will stand up. Sit down. And I'll get that as soon as. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll mark that as soon as I cast my spell. I'm going to do call lightning level four. Okay. So, uh, yeah, mark away prone and do the spell and uh, so, do the uh, damage. 4d10. Yeah, 4d10 damage. Oh god, that's bad for level 4. That's very bad for level 4. Uh, yeah. Alright, so sure. she makes her dex, uh, which... Huh! And it's enough, she fails. Don't you have this elemental affinity thing where you get to re-roll a dice or something? It's not... I don't think it's... Wait a it's minute. not re-roll, it's level one's, uh, one's turn into twos. It's basically two extra damage here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's not 23, it's 25. Yeah. Alright, well, it seems that the Glaive was kind of interfering with her dodge, so she is hit. But as you cast a spell, you feel the feedback from the Wish. It sends necrotic energy coursing through your body, because if you remember correctly, uh, this wish debuff. She already wrote that. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. yeah. Did you take it? Yeah. The forty. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah. Because I don't see your hit points under. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. That's your turn. Anything else you want to do? I'm gonna use some of my movement to try and take cover behind Leos's flapping wing, or I guess would it be better sense behind his neck or behind the wing? What? Can what? you? Can what? you? Uh... Oh wait, turning into something is an action, right? Yeah, that's an action. <laughs> okay. Which I do want to ask a quick question, yeah. Dan, based on one of the spell effects, because it doesn't say if it's an if I use an action or not. If I do the um, awaken. I, I, well, it's not Awaken Tree, it's um, Awaken Groves. Is that an action? I mean, I'm thinking it is, but I want to make sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it in your stuff, right? Yeah, it. It's the only thing it says is it's a bonus action to end the effect, but it doesn't say anything about casting it. Let me check. Also, I think you're concentrating and you're no longer prone. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was going to fix that once I stopped looking at this. Uh, yeah, it would definitely be an action. Okay, just wanted to check. Action. Yep. There you go. Alright, anything else you want to do? Bonus action? Hmm. No, I don't think there's anything else I can do. No, oh, cast healing ward on yourself to take that one to ten necrotic damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be something. What? Cat, he, um, heal for four and take the damage. For yes, ten. yes. All right. 
In that case, that's the end of your turn. And round uh -huh. 10. Dardos. Uh -huh. You see just Mother Dragon kind of close to you. This harpoon wailing with Leos. Alright, then I will... Mm. We'll cast that. Oh, of course. Some of my, Jade. Yeah, some of my shallow bla blade. Run over to her and say, Wailing's been outlawed! And attack. What did you say? I said, Wailing's been outlawed. <laughs> uh, wow. Drag yeah. I think she called Leo slow key fat. I'm just. Oh. Yeah, I definitely heard that, yeah. Zardo's right. throwing shade there. Go for it. Yeah, literally. It's got Come a on. blade of shade. Yeah. Roll well, my dude. Oops, what? wrong button. Wait, that's a what? Wrong button. <laughs> oh, not 20? Oh! Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh. 18? You crit on an 18? Oh, he's not a warlock. But the blast. What, what is this? Oh, okay. All right, so that's first blow for twenty. Um, actually, let's see. So, yeah. So for your first strike, she's gonna. No, wait, that's thirty-one. Okay, yeah. So your first strike connects. Apologies. Okay, eight. Uh, your second strike, uh, she's gonna like bump you in the knee with the other side of her, of her glaive as a parry to increase her AC, and that attack misses. And your third one, 28, does connect. And actually, as you hit her for the third time, you see like this drip of blood coming from her ears. And Kelsey, you wanna do? Did you do the touch of death? Do I need to count that as well? I can't do that on Shadow Blade, can I? Oh, right, it's not just. You're correct. You're absolutely yeah. correct. Right, anything else? I mean, I'll totally do that if you if you want me. Nope. I have no problem with that. <laughs> nope! Yeah, that's everything. Actually, right. I will... Yeah. Mm. Uh, how about I fly up five feet? Okay. Just sure. because. To flex on the fan? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sure. All right. Uh, okay, that's the end of your turn, and we are back with Shrega, who is currently being held by the um, roots of this tree that has wrapped yes. them around you, and you're grappled. At the start of my turn, I heal for ten hit points. Uh, yes, and also at the start of your turn. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, the roots constrict, dealing nine points of bludgeoning damage to you. So I heal for one. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that sucks. Um, I mean, it's better than just yeah. taking nine damage. Okay. As a bonus action, uh, hmm, wait. I mean, I could cast a list as a bonus action. I could I could misty step also out of this? Uh, so many choices. I know the feeling. Yeah, and I'm only a half caster. I could misty stuff. Uh, mm, man. It's hard to decide, but I think I will... He, he's grappling me, right? This tree buddy boy. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna bonus action cast bless on... Oh, let's see who's in range. Only Zardos, and Zardos already has plus. 
Oh, Zark. And oh. I also have bless. And you're too high up. Yeah, you're right? too high up. And Wait, also so this is a bad move, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe Misty Stepping is the right move. Okay. Yep, so I will Misty Step. Uh, over here. It's, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, one uh, second. I mean, you do you, yeah. You don't need me right now, so check something in the background. Okay, so I misty stepped, and now I will use my action to attack twice. Uh, 32 to hit? Uh, yes, that would hit. And, uh, oh, not so good. 21. Uh, 21 misses. She blocks that attack with her brazers. Something. And I still have... Uh... I think I'm... Uh, okay, let me get a good damage for the first. Yeah, I'll move, I'll move around her. Like, I'm still within five feet of her. I'll move like to oh shit, I'm too big. <laughs> Alright. You certainly now. Yeah, I'd say like this, I guess. Alright. I'm trying to snap it into yeah, good, but you are no longer grappled. Right. Okay. Uh is it the end of your turn? Yes. That's the end of my turn. Bonus action, some movement, and attacks. All right. Lair action. The last time I made a tree. Uh, this time I'm going to use Suppress Magic again to get rid of that fucking Shadow Blade. Oh. Well, wait. So the reason. shadow blade is a spell, isn't it? Sure. It dispels the spell. It doesn't dispel it. It suppresses it. Okay. What does that mean? It means you're gonna get it back eventually. <laughs> like if she changes targets, I guess. All right. Rubius. Well, Rubius is gonna Ruby, 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 uh, Ruby, Ruby. fly ten. Oh shit! Um, that was thirty feet, uh, forty feet, and he's gonna fly up one more to one hundred feet, and he's essentially flying in the cloud of. Uh, of um, of call lightning and he's just uh, uh, probably uh, giggling a bit and say more lightning it will be and just call lightning down uh, on the mother of dragons. He has a spell. Uh, no, not sorry, uh, uh, lightning bolt. Okay. <laughs> um, call lightning for a wizard. Lightning bolt. Uh, oh yeah, it's a hundred feet. Okay. Lightning bolt is a hundred feet. All right, so it's another deck saving throw for me. And he's going to cast it at yeah third fifth, third level. Let's start. Nice. So, oh, it doesn't roll. What's his DC? What is it? Uh, his DC is twenty one. Twenty one. Well, she dodges. Uh, so roll eighty six. Twenty six. Thirteen. Right. Okay. And um, <clears throat> that's all he does for the moment. No, she would say Sam's Kong's answer. Ah, uh, a oh, lightning. How droll. <laughs> yeah, he says exactly that. All right. And end still... of turn. All right, end of turn. Hardest. Mm, 
I am going to use my bonus action to convert a level one spell slot into uh, one sorcery point. Okay. Yes. Don't worry, I have so much left to do. And then I'm going to use Tides of Chaos as I fire a firebolt at the tree that is over there. Okay. I, I literally do nothing anymore, so I can't until I have more sword points. Okay. So that's a 19 to hit? Yeah, it hits. Oh, I rolled a d10. I rolled a 10. I get another d10. Okay. Nice! Look. What? So cool. Actually, this, I mean, it rarely happens with a cantrip because cantrip doesn't have many dice, but. Yeah. For a cantrip, the damage increase can be pretty yeah, impressive. That's pre pretty valuable. Like 25%. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's Tides of Chaos turn Hi. one now. Yeah, you that's send the firebolt um, into the tree's mouth, it explodes. The tree does what trees does when they get hit by fire, which is just. Take it quietly, really. <laughs> Excellent. And I will, <laughs> I will fly up twenty more feet. Okay. All right. Uh, at the end of the turn, it is her turn, so she gets all her legendary actions back. And first thing first, as a bonus action, uh, she's gonna reel in uh, Valio's dragon. So thirty feet down, please. Ooh. She can do that, that's yes. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, and then, as one of her attacks, she's gonna try to drain you. Please make me a constitution saving throw. Can I use Sentinel? Uh, no, it's not an attack. 24 oh. I will and bend less. Up. No, 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 less. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, if I roll a one, you might want to bend luck. Oh, it's a two. Him. 26. All right. Uh, that does nothing. Good roll. Okay. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, I'm gonna inspire the tree. That's why not. And I will. I will actually let me. Well, it doesn't matter because I already did that. But good to know. Glaives, 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 glaives. <laughs> well, she's definitely letting go of the restraint for now. Question is who do I kill? Do you? You're useless. Yeah. You don't have to say it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna punch Trigger. Was a glaive. Turns around. And five to hit. I could parry that, right? Yeah, I can. <gasps> I will. <laughs> I'm gonna parry that with my last parry. Alright. And one more hit. Ah, 22. Yes! Alright. Wines. This wine is gonna move. Are vines a targetable? Like, are they a creature that we can kill? Yes. Okay. The vine is gonna dash. <laughs> uh, that's the wine is gonna try to grab the only person it can grab, which is Zardos. Uh, 12 to hit. Nope. Uh, the wine on the other tree also comes to. Damn it. Also comes to life, dashes, and this wine also comes to life and dashes off a tree. <laughs> they move so far. Yes, 
Yes, look, they're plants. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're a lot faster than your average plant. Um, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. <Is> that <laughs> the... <laughs> plants usually don't move. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, that's the end of their turn. And then the end of their turn, she's going to try to stab Trango <laughs> one more time. Stab me, baby, one more time. Fuck it. Shit. That also, this sorry. Bucket trap twenty-two. I'm yeah. currently not grappled anymore, right? I know. Hmm. And it is your turn. Run away. Well, let me first see if I get my breath back. Um. Um. Just. <laughs> Where's my, where's my, oh, oh, breath recharge. Here we go. No. Well, uh, this is my last round for this. Uh, this is round 10 on haste. <clears throat> ah, well. Uh, let's make a count. I'm gonna use my movement to position myself here. Oh no, actually I can fly, uh, um, land below Rubius on ground. Oh no, oh, do I want to do that? Mm, I still have Melora on my back. Well, okay. Change of plants. Or should I say change of plants? <laughs> As I attack <laughs> the tree with my hasted action, I will attempt to bite it. I hope you succeed, because if you don't, that's going to be extremely embarrassing. 21 to hit. 22. You won't believe you hit it. Ah. Oh, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> this is truly exciting. Uh, that was my hasted action, and with my normal action, I will bite again. Okay. 35 to hit. Yep. Four trees. It's, it's still standing. Uh, nice one second. Uh, uh, that. Um, yes, it's still standing. Oh, fuck. Then I will claw at it with a 31 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 31 definitely hits. It's still standing. Like you're sending oh. chips and bits flying, but this is a tree. It takes a while to chop down a tree. Then I will attempt to claw it again with a 35 to hit. <laughs> that barely hits, yes. Uh, the tree is still there. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I had to fly down a bit, uh, yes. but not too much. Uh, you'd uh, need to go like 20, no wait, it's 15 foot tall, so... Uh, what's your claws reach? Uh, 10 feet. So, 25. So, 5 feet down, so I have 155 feet left of movement. <laughs> I will try to, you know, uh, fly up here to a hundred feet height. Alright. And I believe um, this is your last turn of uh, haste. Yes. Alright. Um, so, it, does it trigger an opportunity attack? Um, actually, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, then... Uh, 34. Yeah, that hits. That was a good the roll. The tree hit for 34? No, that's her. No, that's oh. her. Yeah. And the tree actually would try to hit you as well. Uh, yeah, because sure. why not? The tree has modeled. So, uh, so she uh, hits you for 10 slashing and 23 necrotic. And she restrains mm -hmm. you against 60 feet of the ground. <clears throat> okay. And the tree tries its best uh, to hit you uh, with, 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 with. Uh,
you weren't within five feet of it, so with branches. Uh, Uh, 28 to hit. For the tree? Yeah. With muddled thoughts? Yeah, because it was inspired by the Oof. mother. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's definitely a hit. Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. No longer inspired. Okay. Uh, but it's it, it's a straight damage roll. I'm not grappled by the tree? Uh, no. Uh, you are grappled okay. by her. Yeah, let me okay, draw gotcha. that. Trying to think he was throwing the token. Yeah. Okay. Um... Huh? I will. I will. Uh, I will very quietly say to Melora, "Get away." All right. And um, that's my get turn. off me! <laughs> get off my! Get off my lawn! <laughs> uh, that is satisfactory. All right, uh, she's gonna use her legendary action to command the vines around her to do things for her. Uh, so one of them is gonna try to grab Zardas. How high up is Zardas? Very high up, right? I'm 60 feet up. Yeah. Zardas? Arlis is 60. Arlis. Uh, yeah. Zardas is on ground level. Yeah, Zardas I'm attacking with... Um, yeah, I'm only seconds. five feet up. Oh wow, natural 20 on the wine. So um, you take two misses. points of piercing damage. <laughs> you die. Uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage and you are grappled by that wine and against Trago. Uh, actually 24 to hit. Yeah, so 11 nice. bludgeoning for you, and you are grappled by this wine. Uh, this swine. And <laughs> actually, yeah, and the third wine only can go for you. So another wine attack for you, Trega. Uh, but only 21 to hit. So that misses. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, now it's the tree's turn, and the tree, being a tree, has a movement speed of not that much, so it walks here and attacks Trevor. So, double 22 for roots, they both miss as you dodge those attacks. And 12 and 23 for the branches, I think 23 hits. 23 does it. Yeah, so one branch attack for 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Actually, wait, no, 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 I'm lying, it's a miss because of my thoughts. Mm. Uh, and 20 you spell DC is higher than 20, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. Mine isn't. Mine is 20. It can make it. No, it can't. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, it <laughs> it's a tree! <laughs> <laughs> but then it's much higher than 20 for it, yes. It's not really bright! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, anyway, that's the tree's turn. Uh, and now it is Melora's turn. Um, got another question. With calling the tree guardians, do I ha can I do that in animal form or do I have to be human form? Uh, in animal form, you don't have your stuff, basically. Because it mm. melts into your form. Yeah, yeah. And you can't use it. Shit. Like, honestly, okay. most of the things that stuff allows you to do, unless it's ongoing, you need the stuff in your hand. Gotcha. All right. Um, gotcha, gotcha, I'll take yeah, Leos. Yeah, yeah. I'll take Leos's advice. I'll transform into an eagle, and um, I will fly up another thirty feet 
from the 60. Actually, I can dash as an action, can I? Uh, you your, just no. use it to... Oh, that's right. No. So I'll just fly up 30 feet, so that'll put me at 90 feet. All right. And that's all, all right, you give do? Give me one second. Let me make sure I do this. No, no, no. I'm going to bonus action call lightning, but let me make sure I do this right. It's Isn't an it action an action? call lightning. Is it? I Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I'm sorry. I thought it was bonus. This would be really good if it was a bonus action spell. No, I thought it was a bonus action on continuous turns. Nope. Action. No, that's only for... It's... Um, uh, fire yeah, sphere. it's action. Yeah, flaming sphere, the for flaming example. Flaming sphere, the... spiritual weapon, big hands. Storm sphere. Storm sphere, yeah. A lot of things. Not this one. All right, in that case, you used your movement, you used the action. Uh, also, you couldn't dash because you just used your action to transform. Right, no, she's, it's 30, um, if she's, there, if she's on Leos's back and she flies up another 30 feet, that's yeah. 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is Don't correct. You, uh, yeah, okay. Because eagles have like 60 feet, I think, of flying speed, but yeah. Uh, according to this, 30. Okay, sure. Should be more. Uh, whatever, doesn't matter. You can check somewhere. Uh, but I assume that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's going to be it. I can't cast anything All in right. form or lose it. At the end of your turn, it is round 11, which means this is a round where the ceiling gets breached and you see the two figures descending slowly. As Zardos, you get a call out from the uh, strange liquid red thingy that claims that you're really bad at inviting people to parties because she almost missed this one what i'm not going to come up with new dialogue (laughs) not unless the former one is applicable do you know how much money it spends to write new line of dialogue (laughs) so this is a flashback i can't give you any new information (laughs) yes what do you mean flashback (laughs) this is the present what is that, that song? Or track? is it? Deja vu! Yeah. Alright. Uh, let me add them to initiative. And actually, since they are here, choose who controls who and roll initiative for them. Can I have Baros? I don't do anything. <laughs> yes, you may. Yes. Right. It's okay. Last time I played him, he didn't do anything either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's because you played him. Yeah, maybe. He will be very efficient in my hands. So I'm giving the blood puppet <laughs> to Zardos. Alright, roll initiative. Uh, where is he? How do you do this in here like this, I think? Uh, click the name. I did. Oh, no, it's rolling. I rolled twice. Uh, so... 17? Yes. And for her, 12. Descending. At the round back. Alright. Wasn't Trigger's initiative higher? How did he lose initiative? My initiative was 20, but yeah, what? Wasn't it 24? No. No, it was a 20. But since I have Dexterity and the lair, I guess, doesn't. Alright, okay. Uh. Yeah, all right, round 11. Zardos, you heard your wife. Wait. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, well, you do you. I'm gonna just quickly do this because this, and I'm gonna do this because this. All right, there we go. Thank you. Correct. Fingers. Zardos, you're done. Uh, okay. Well, I did not appreciate her doing that to my Shadow Blade. So you'll take out your lesser weapon and strike her with that? Yep. Alright. I get baited every time. Uh, Where did you get the psychic damage from? No, I forgot to take that off. I forgot that was still attached. Alright, well, reaction. So, both of those hit. Hmm. 
Uh, I thought it's as well. And just because I don't remember if she has any. Why? Wait, what? Why on the third attack there was no psychic damage? Uh, because I because forgot she to take concentration on that a long time ago. Okay. Oops, Robin. Can't bite her. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. You. Uh, what's your current charge? Thirty. Can't be thirty because he used five to create hammer blade. Oh wait. Uh, that was in the last battle. When did you create hammer blade? Wait, how long does that last? A minute. I thought it lasts long. Um, the what? I minute. Yeah. It was after I used the uh, the spell because we were out of range so that time to do that. It was after mine was here. No, that's what I'm not talking about. I trust that your hammer blade still goes on. The question is, if hammer blade costs five points. And touch of death cost seven. Yeah. You should not have such charges. I had 40 before. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it should be one less. Yeah, which means after this, your uh, modifier goes to plus two. Yeah. All right. And, yeah, as you discharge necrotic energy into her body, you notice that it doesn't have as high of an effect as you're used to, but you're right. getting her worn down. She's not heavily hurt, but you're noticing the wear and tear. Anything else you want to do? Uh, that's it. All right. Dragon. That works. Wait. The uh, oh, bonus wait. action attack. Forget about that. Yeah. And by the way, you do take like some poison damage, but I believe you have Hero's Fist. Yes. All right. Um, bonus action. Oh, wow. That one hit. And Psychic's still on that one, too. Alright. Here I go. Uh, one moment. Um, at the start of your turn, uh, the vine that holds you... Oh, the magical bonus is already down to one, apparently. Really? Yeah. Uh okay. I just, yeah, the apologies. essence was restored, but the weapon damage wasn't. Uh, apologies. Um, you are not grappled by the wine. You are grappled and restrained. So all your crap was a disadvantage. Wait, who? Me? Him? Both of you. Well, I missed him, so that's my fault. Now, your Strager's turn, you're grappled, you're restrained, and Zardus, you're restrained as well, so please mark that. And Trag at the start of your turn, since I don't believe, yeah, your Hero's Fist has been dispelled. Uh, the wine pumps uh, poison into your veins as you take 21 um, point of poison damage. Half because I did take the antitoxin. All right, that sure. Then, what do you do? Uh, don't take the damage because I heal for ten. Okay. Um. And now I can get out of this if I hit the vine, right? It looks like it. Yeah, because then I'm like a disadvantage with everything. So I will. I'll try and hit the vine once. Uh, twenty-four. All right, you hit the vine, and you find out that you have a spear. It doesn't do well to pierce the vine. You need to cut it. 
Well, shit. Uh, bonus action, change it to a sword? Sword is slashing, right? I don't think you can turn it into a sword. I'm pretty sure it can turn on to in, only into piercing weapons. So, uh, a short, wait, let me Short sword is piercing damage. I can change it to uh, a dagger, a short sword, a javelin, a spear, a pike, or a lance. Yeah, they're all piercing weapons. Well, she is. Um, let me check. Something. You know, there's a seam to your spear. <laughs> I wouldn't let it turn into a warhammer, you know. Yeah. That would be quite a fantasy. Battle. <laughs> also, I'm all out. Um, uh, so uh, it looks. Yeah. So did it look like that I did some damage, but it's not that effective, or it just uh, it's didn't do completely anything? ineffective. Completely ineffective. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess like there's no getting out of this. I'm stuck. Uh, not uh, with a spear. Well, the other forms don't do slashing damage. Oh. So I'm going to use uh, my bonus action to, yeah, why not? I'm going to cast this. So I'm concentrating. All right. And I'm going to try and hit uh, Mother of Dragons. Okay, go, go for it. This advantage. Shit. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's my turn. Your tech would have hit if not for that tug from the wine that throws your balance a little bit. All right, that's the end of your turn. As um, Blair, action. She will. Make a friend. As she rises. This one tree. Right in front of all of you. Alright. Um, Argus. No, wait, wait a moment. There was something else. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. I deleted the tokens. Uh, Barus head. Barus is a 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah one second. Well, well I mean, right there. Okay. he, um, um, is still like feather falling down. Oh, so yeah. he's so, gonna um, go does he land down. This turn? No, he goes down to forty feet basically now. Okay. Good. And she is now at. Oh. Okay. But can he take out this longbow while he's flying sure. and start shooting? Why not? Excellent. And she has. And he will at shoot 12. at the mother of dragons. Praying that he hits. But unlikely. Yeah, that's a no. Alright, what do we have? 7, need... 22, 14. No. You rolled a 17 and oh god. Zero Zero and down and mostly hits the tree that has just sprung. So kind of provide a little bit of cover for the Mother of Dragons, you would say. Um, that's the end of his turn. Ardes. Seeing the second tree sprout from the ground. He is going to call on the Shrieking of the Phoenix. Since the trees can't make it anyway. Um, we are going to listen to the beautiful, beautiful song of the Phoenix. <gasps> yes, that was the song. 
and an additional d6 for my excellent level 18 feature. Um, and then let's okay, let's turn to sorcery points zero. That's it. no. Don't think that's it. No. All right. Um, okay. That was. Um, could you please tell me her natural role? No, how she's going to. I'm fixing my tea. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, so trees take 54 points of damage, and you actually see the tree on the left, it goes, and its upper half just explodes. This one is stunned. And yep. she makes an intelligence saving throw. Uh, natural is a 9. I mean, she made it with a 10 last time, so... Which last time? Try? When I muddled thoughts her ass. She made it, so... Uh, might as well try and band luck this one. So maybe she doesn't make it this time. Now it's a natural 5. Did you see 20, also... right? Yes. She makes it. Oh, fuck. Plus 15 on an int save? Oh, okay. I should have never used these, I guess. Uh, in that case, it's just 27 points of damage. Yeah. But that affects her. And you notice as more blood spills from her ears. Alright, anything else you want to do? For my bonus action, I am going to convert uh, one level 1 spell slot into a sorcery point. That's the end of my turn. Alright. Um, I am... No, I'm gonna go down to 40 feet. Okay. Fly down to 40 feet tight. Rubius? Uh, well, Rubius is gonna do the same as before. But on level 4. Okay. <laughs> Things are getting exciting. Level four. Oh, it doesn't auto roll. Uh, that is 96. A mighty, mighty, mighty. As Rubus goes. Ooh, 35. It's okay. I wonder. Let's bring up the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dexterity. Yeah. Well, thank God for her abilities, because she succeeds. Uh, that's 70. Alright. She is looking worn. She is looking unpleasantly worn. That's the end of her turn. That's all Rubius does. Float in the sky and be terrible. Alright. Blood Puppet. Descends 60 feet down on Featherfall. Yep. I think it's gonna fall somewhere. I do. How far up is she? Uh, 40 feet up. So basically 40 feet away. Dan, did you post the uh, the music, by the way? What? Did you post the music, by the way? I couldn't find the link. Pause or post? Post it. The uh, link to the It's the jukebox. same link as it always is. Oh, shit. I didn't pay attention to that. Thank you. Never change it.
Now go ahead with this. Did my wiping make you jealous? Alright, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I thought, why is this so weird? And then I remembered, oh, because it's complete silence. <laughs> I mean, silence is appropriate for this kind of serious situation, but... Music is the only thing that makes my continuous losses bearable. You'll point a finger at the other dragons and cast... Hasn't Mazen never taught you to not point fingers at other people? Princess doesn't care about her rules. Sure. All right, what do I need to make? A wisdom saving throw. Um, is it charm? No, it's an illusion. Uh, wisdom. Boom. Boom. What's her DC? It's I'm trying to find. It's not on. Uh, it's 16 somewhere. Well, it's 16. I remember. Um, so she makes it. She yeah, probably think... can't fail it. Yeah, probably not. Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, anything else? Uh, that's it. Just try to keep following. All right, that's the end of her turn. It's the mother of Dragon's turn, and she gets all her legendary actions back. And she's gonna reel you in, Lewis, and go. You're not even a real dragon. Make me a constitution saying so. Oh, you're gonna let her talk about you like that, Leos? Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Ooh, I can do those. You still have four. Oh, oh shit. Nine. And I'm blessed. And a plus do six. <laughs> yeah, <that's fine>. 31. <laughs> plus ten. 37. All right. Um, That's what she gets for reeling him in. All right. I mean, it's not like... Skills me can't hear you over me, all that draconic. Like, 31 wasn't enough. Um, okay, she's gonna... Um, I don't know, inspire a wine or something. All oh, her trees are dead. Uh, and then she's gonna let go of the uh, restraint for a moment and give you a 1-2 with the glaive. Uh, a 1 is a 25 to hit. Against me? Yes. Ooh. Yes, then I can hit. Yes, sure. that's a hit, definitely. Uh, so 17 slashing and 30 necrotic. 3 0. Ooh. Aww. Nasty girl. Alright, Chaga. <laughs> mm. 22. Mm, right. Okay. Alright, 22. Yeah, in that case, it misses. As like the same thrust, she like thrust the dragon and. The, the backside of her glaive grows at the same time and hits you the stomach in, into the stomach, causing you to go ah <laughs> as your attack misses. Uh, <laughs> all right, and the two for Leos is at thirty-five to hit. Yeah. Uh, how much damage? Is I'm that? getting better than my mojo, but I'm getting into it way too late. Uh, Fourteen slashing, one four. Okay, uh, fourteen. So two go over. Okay. Yes, and thirty-five necrotic. So 37 carry over into Leo's yeah. form. Um, Which appears 36 feet in the air. Yeah, so I also fall yeah. 30 feet. Uh, make me a dexterity saving throw to see if you fall prone. Uh, why? Oh, I'm at minus two hit points. I, um, <laughs> one second. I shouldn't be. Um, oh, that's so minus that was minus 37. Yes. Um, now question. Yes. Wait, what? Your death ward triggers? Oh, right! My death ward triggers. Never mind. Yeah, right. never mind. Uh, so, one hit I'll point. Put Leah's away. So, I'm at one hit point, And I don't fall. Uh, you don't fall. Thank you for the reminder. I would have forgotten. Yeah. But she will keep you, in that case, on a grapple for your last Yeah. Uh, okay. trick. And uh, it's your turn. Is this the haste skip turn? Yes. Oh, yes, it's it a haste is. skip turn. Uh, As I right. become unhasted, uh, my turn ends here. Uh, also, Death Ward is gone. 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 Right. 
Uh, at the end of your turn, um, she is gonna unrestrain you and glaive Drago. Question, how bad does she look? Uh, pretty bad. Well, all things are relative. Is 100 a lot of hit points? For a dragon, no. For an Arliss, yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, she hits you with a glaive with advantage because you're restrained. Yeah. Thank God for advantage, because that was a natural one. 28 to hit. Mm hmm. That hits. Uh, 28 is not on a natural one, <laughs> don't worry. Oh, uh, so, natural two. A uh, 1 3 slashing. And, oh wow, that's a roll. And 38 necrotic damage. Jesus. Okay. Yes. And just because she can, she's gonna stab you and keep you grappled. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm already grappled by this Yeah, guy. <laughs> but then she might be able to drain you next turn. If she lives long enough. Uh, wines. Can I wines. use a legendary action as well? Oh, yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I forgot so about that. Let fall further. Do that. Um, no, she can't fall. Because uh, Feather Fall falls at the start of your turn. I'm pretty sure it descends. You could probably move though, right? Like around. No, no, it's a feather you fall. You can't move while you're yeah. falling. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. Okay. okay. Um. Mm. All right. Uh, I mean, those wines are kind of occupied. So, um, yum, 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 what's the range on that? 20, uh, not enough. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. The wine crawls off a tree and it has nobody else to reach. It tries to grab Trego. <laughs> 12. I've seen it. Misses. I've seen enough hints. I don't know where this is going. It's, it's inspired. It looks inspired. Yeah, it still misses. And the other one just starts quickly going <laughs> towards Drago. <laughs> the other two wines are really happy with the catch of the day, so they're doing their things. Uh, trees would have had a turn, but they need to roll a DC 20. Uh, the engine sinks roll at the end of their turn, which they are unlikely to do. So the trees do which trees do, pretend to be dead, which means it is... Actually, before Melora goes, Melora goes, before Melora goes. Melora, it's your turn. Already? You said she's 40 feet up in the air? Who? The Mother of Dragons. No, she's on the ground. No. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, call lightning on her. I think I've been forgetting something. I think I just remembered it. Yep. Uh, Trego, Zardo, Stream, make me dexterity saying throws. Because it's AOE. Oh, fuck. Can, can I yeah, make it dexterity? I don't know. I mean, oh, you have disadvantage because you're restrained. It's out of the same shit. I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't she think does that. make it. Wait, couldn't she that point it, she point it point next to the side? Why yeah, she, she could. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As if you'll let here. me do it. It's basically a 10 foot square if you have a point and five feet, five feet within range. So basically, she could just put it uh, from here. Yeah, but she didn't. Well, she would. It's not like she doesn't know It's still in her oh. turn. Oh, I'll leave that up again because right, I did say on her. Fine. No, she did say on her. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Everybody, dexterity to saying throws. Friendly fire. Here we go. Milora, no! Milora, yes! 
I'm a stupid idiot. I'm sorry. You can't be a stupid idiot. You can be either stupid or an idiot. I mean, to the side is still on. All right. Anyway, still alive. Trigger fails. You also both take half damage from this. Ah, yes, because I spelled it. Oh, right. And Zardos takes a quarter. Yes. So 15 Trigger and seven Zardos. Actually, was there any more damage in there from Elemental Affinity? No. <laughs> what about the mother? Did she make her save? Yes. Unfortunately. Uh, anything else, Miller? No, that's it. Any more friendly fire you want to do? No, no, no. <laughs> Such I a dick. <laughs> uh, round 12. Oh, right, it's <laughs> uh, You are restrained. At the start of your turn, you take some poison damage, which I believe you don't care about, but you are restrained. Alright. Uh... So, restrained means attacks at disadvantage, yes. right? Yes, and advantage against you. Also, disadvantage in dexterity saving throws and a couple other things. You can't move. Alright, I will. That's about it. Just step out of that. No! Alright, where? Just back a few feet. Alright, fair enough. As the wine goes, poof! To the ground. Step back and attack again. And did we decide that the Hemo Blade is over? Uh, we didn't say anything about it. I don't remember when you activated it. I mean, it's been what? It's round twelve. Do you think you activated it on round one, round two? It's like two or three. Then let's say it's over. You forgot, you pay for it. Also, again, your charges are 28. Not okay. Anywho, what do you do? Double checking. Okay. Alright, that's a miss. Twenty. Uh, twenty-six. Uh, she has her reaction back, so she's gonna parry that. Ooh, on this initial one. Mm -hmm. mm, that's everything. Alright. Any bonus actions? Oh, right, Mr. Step. Alright. Yeah. In that case, I assume that's it for you. Uh, bonus, bonus action. Mm hmm. Try a little. There you go. It's your turn. You're double restrained. Is that double disadvantage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, this is the last round you have your trick form. True. Uh, I heal for 10, right? Mm hmm. Uh, question. A cone is a, like a fourth of a circle? A quarter of a it circle? It depends on the size, one? really. But basically, the cone, like, if the cone is 30 feet, this is a 30 feet, and this is a 30 feet. Can I, um, hmm? not to be that guy, but doesn't he take poison damage at the start? He does. Time? He does. Thank you very much. I love you. For this, I'm gonna kill you last. 
22. Yeah, then, he, because I'm <laughs> then he drink the potion to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, I get resistance. So 22, okay. half 11. No, 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 he's got a point. We gotta do it by the rules. If you die, you die. Uh... Mm. If, if is a good word. Need to think my actions through. Why? I am going to try. This might be idiotic. <laughs> that will be in character. To well. Don't you still have Wrathful Smite up? Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, what's your constitution saving throw bonus? It's a plus nine. Plus nine, so you can't fail a uh, poison check. All right. Although I did stab you recently. Did you roll concentration check for that? Uh, you stabbed Leos. I stabbed you! Currently oh, right. Uh, and that was? That was 13 plus 38. That was 13 plus 38. Yeah, so 25 GC. Nope. Your rest of smart is gone. Oh, wait, that's not you. Yeah, it's still gone. So no wrathful. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what do you do? And you can cast it again. You have one. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna try and harness the elements around me and try to misty step out of this. So you have no spell slots. I no. I don't have spell slots from this. Side. All right. Uh, roll me a d hundred while I check the number. <laughs> I'm dead. It's 2d10 now or something, or 1d10. This plus this plus... Yes. Uh... Yeah, that definitely fail. Uh, roll me d10. Nine. All right. Um, the spell works. But you can miss a step only half of the distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, so I will miss the step. Let me think. <laughs> You'll be in range of any of the vines. I know. Uh... Just ignore them, it's fine. They don't do anything. Was that was this Mr. Step 30 feet, right? Yeah, it's so 15 only. 30 so it's 15. Uh, I'm a Steve Step. Uh five feet. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Go for it. Because the grapples disappear. Sorry. Oh fuck! Mm. <gasps> and Trago died. No, that was Mr. Steph! You momentarily disappear from this world! Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. As an action. Yes. The Trego is currently in tree form, but he's gonna go Corona form. Uh, and this. Does it take an action to do that? Or do you it just... does. Okay. It takes an action. I used the bonus action. Okay. To Mr. Steph. Okay, and you go Corona this form. This tree is now on fire. <laughs> Uh, the one you're. Which one? No, I'm. I'm the. I'm the tree. <laughs> oh. I have the yeah. tree form, but now extra corona form, so the tree has corona. Critical and role have sun tree, but we have the sun tree. <laughs> the sun tree. <laughs> All right. And the real sun tree. I am going since I have now ninety feet of movement, and she used her reaction. I'm gonna fly ninety feet upwards. Okay. 
good choice. So that's my uh, action, <laughs> that's my bonus action, and that's my movement. All right. And I take, uh, at the end of my turn, I take 2d6 radiant damage, but I have resistance to it. Nice. Go for it. Take it. Uh, 10. Right. But, so that's 5. Yeah. Um, how much bright light do you shed in your Corona form? If any. Uh, let me check. It says I shed bright light. Bright light shines from you in a 30 foot radius, and dim light shines 30 feet beyond that. All right. So uh, basically. I also need to put a counter on it, but since tree form now ends, so I'm just going to count on green again. So basically, we have this. Or just use one or everybody. But you're, you're the sun, you should use yellow. He's already used No, I did yellow. another oh, yeah. thing. I now made his light visible right. for others. And like the pink, goes... purple, and yellow is used for height stuff. Okay. All right. The sun locking it up in the sky. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how it looks like. Like, yeah. Like most of the dome by now will be eliminated because the dome is like 100 feet across and you're in the center and Dragon makes like 60 feet of that. Uh, in the direction. Yep. No, wait, it's not. It's it's 200 feet across, so. Like, anyway, 60% of the it's dome. 60% of the dome is eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, that was everything. Um, well, that's, that is disappointing. Uh, end of your turn, she's going to use her legendary action to tell the wines. Tell the wines that Big Tonya says hello. Uh, no, she doesn't do that because she can't. Or more like the wines can't. They can't even. All right. Uh, but it is a red action. I have an important question, actually. Yeah? Oh, is con is I Trago's idea. light considered sunlight? It doesn't say it. It. Uh, wait, let me read it. From... Because the, if it is, then I know two people who as are an... going to be having some trouble here, maybe. As an action, Probably you can three. emanate Probably an aura, aura of sunlight. Uh-oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, to be fair... Oh, no. Well, I'm 90 feet up. Yeah, hey, it's, good it's, it's good. sunlight only within 60 feet of him, basically. But, Trego, think about it. If you descend, you might get yeah. rid of our second problem, which is very likely to become a problem once we get rid of the Mother of Dragons. Wait, no, what, no, what are we no, talking no. about? Oh, Zardas, okay. Nothing. No, no, <laughs> not talking about anything at all. No, no, no. Just ignore him. You see, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Look at them, so happy. Make a comparison video to last week. Uh, one second. Yeah, like because vampires take damage when they start their turn in sunlight. It doesn't matter if it's bright sunlight, if it's dim sunlight. Oh, yeah. oh god. Uh, all right. So as a layer action, the Mother of Dragons is gonna use her uh, BFG layer action to kill everybody. <laughs> Funnily enough, I could play BFG Division and it won't be copyrighted because it's a uh, gameplay soundtrack. That's why most streamers play game music. Uh, Lair action. Uh... Boy. Uh, it's lair action. I, I I did it three last turn, right? Yes, I did it three. As a lair action, uh, she's gonna suppress Nidala. No, that's. I mean, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give her piercing damage with my bracer again. Why would she sure. kill Nidala? No. Sure. Sure. Oh, you fall with Nidala. Make me the stage of saying so. I don't fall yet. I fall at the start of my turn. Okay, sure. Uh, it's the bar sister. No, you fall immediately. The rules is you fall immediately up to 500 feet and then again at the start of your turn. 
Take so you take down. 11 points of damage as you fall. And yeah. you fall prone. Land prone? Yeah. 11 points you said? 11, yeah. So 5, okay. You're not that high up. Uh, Bars. It's Bars' turn. He descends to the ground on this round. Yes. I. Uh, one second, I'm giving myself prone. Oh, fuck. And I'm deleting my height. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving and myself the prone. <laughs> Baros is gonna run towards her. I'll give you prone. I gave myself prone. <laughs> just sounds and like, you know, an insult. I'll give you prone! And he is going to start things off and try to uh, life drain her. Okay. Oh, it's, an, it's an necrotic damage. One second, I need to recalculate. Oh, it's worse. No, he's just gonna longsword her. Okay. Three times. Oh, look at him. Oh, that actually look hits. Look at him being efficient as fuck. That doesn't hit. Uh, that doesn't hit? That attack? That doesn't hit doesn't either. either. Alright, so that's 12 damage. slashing and 3 necrotic for 15. Alright, well, it's something, it's something. Yes, yes. She's kind of looking like she's on her, like, second last leg. <laughs> and this was Boris's turn. Alright, wonderful. Uh, he had, I don't think he had bonus action, so No. Yes. Uh, uh, and now, at the end of his turn, she's gonna order the wines to feed. As one of the wines goes for Baros, and the other one goes for Arles. Tasty. Uh, leadership gives me... Um, gives me... You know, this command allies. Uh, hit me. Okay, Baros okay. first. Uh, 21 to hit. Hits. Alright, so he is grappled and restrained. And... Arles... Only up to 18, please. Natural 20. Motherfucker. Okay. That might hit. I'm gonna use oh. shield anyway. Yeah. Um, I forgot. Uh, Baros takes 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, one second. I am just doing this too. Uh, he takes 12. Yes. And you take 19. Wait. This is non-magical, right? Uh, this is non-magical. Baros takes 6 points of damage. Right. Uh, 19, you said? Yes. I take 8. Okay. Alright. Uh, wait, can I do it? Oh, uh, no, also, I think up. I yeah. surged. One second, please. <laughs> yes. I think I just surged. surged. Yeah, that sounds dirty when you say it like that. <laughs> I will choose option. I will choose option one. Are you I sure? Option one. Yes. But the option is so good! It's so bad, excuse me? It's so bad, it's good! <laughs> okay. Alright. Anything else? Oh wait, I mean, now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Yeah, and at I the start of your turn, do you have poison immunity? Yes, I am immune. Alright, but you take poison damage anyway. I mean, you take it, you yeah. just don't take it. Yeah. I take it, I don't <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> I look down at lifeless Nidala below me. I shed a small tear. Um, and I will try and Misty Step as I get up. Uh, I don't have spell slots, so, you know. Uh, you can't get up first. You need to Misty Step from oh, yeah. the ground, yeah, basically. I would like to Misty Step first, yes. So, no spell slot, Misty Step. No spell slot. Uh, the 100. Uh, nope. I uh, D10? Uh, 2 D10, sorry. 2 D10. 2? Yeah, because you suck. I have a No, I mean... Uh, 5... Uh, 5... Uh, uh, how does it work? I can't really do that, right? Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let, 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 let's lull it. Let's lull it. Roll me the six. Uh, yeah. 
and draw mediate. Yeah, you notice as the wine on the tree next to you disappears and reappears over there. <laughs> These stupid shits. Um... <laughs> if it could look confused, it would look confused. But it's a wine. It can't. I'm going to, being prone, look around at these creatures around me. And I would like everyone within 60 feet that is an enemy, so her included and that of all vines, to make a DC 20 wisdom saving throw. Against what? DC 20 wisdom saving throw against the uh, dragon core. Mm. Uh, what does it do? Are or you trying to frighten them? Yeah, frighten. Uh, wisdom, fail. DC 20. Alright, all the wines are frightened. Excellent. It was in 60 feet? 60 feet. All the vines. And the stun tree too. Oh, I didn't heal at the start of my turn. I should have healed. I can still heal. And tides is gone. Yeah, the mother of dragons is not. Frightened. She's not looking very good, is she? Uh, I mean, she always looks good. She just doesn't look very healthy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, fortunately for her, I do not have any spells that do damage to her. So um, <laughs> fortunate for her, indeed. I am the most useful. Well, that was my action. So, and I'm bound and to the ground. Action. So that's my turn. Hi. Uh, Rubius. Well, this is going to be very exciting now, because Rubius is exactly doing the same thing, but on level 5. <sighs> what if I take it up a notch? So it's 10d6. Uh, what's his spell DC? It's pretty high. 21. 21. Uh... One, she does save 18 points of damage. All right. Yeah. I, you notice that her moments are becoming slower and slower, and though she dodges this last lightning strike, there is like a quite a big like, burn mark on her arm after she does, and some wit arches towards her. Uh, any skills she wants to do? Nah, he's good. All right, Eliana. She descends at the start of her round to the ground. Hmm. So... Why are the trees frightening? Because frightened they're That's frightened because Arles fell 40 feet from the air onto the ground, onto and his he back. at them angrily. Yes. But, uh, no, they're scared of me. Yeah. It's okay. It was the I'm gonna tell your mom look. She's right over there. Yeah, and the ones are like, but it wasn't us, it was our mom who did it. But she's gonna tell anyway, so they're scared. Yeah, basically. Ow. Alright, she's going to activate her lightning reflexes. Alright, so that does take an action. Yes. Alright. So you kind of watch as uh, this blood puppet kind of like drops into a more amorphous puddle of blood and begins moving swiftly, I assume? Yep. Alright. I think that's all she can do? Uh, yeah. That's I action and movement. Alright. Uh, by the way, the dragon is 30 feet in the air, so if you want to move like on that side, you're more than welcome to. Because she has like what? You move 25, so you have 15 more feet. Discounting explosive directions. 
Uh, where did you move? Underneath uh, uh, under Rubius Leos. and Leos. She's over here. Well, you should not have moved. Oh, nah, nah. All right, let's make it be like this. All right, uh, that's the end of her turn. And thank God, because it is the Mother of Dragon's turn. She gets her legendary actions back, and she had her Reaping Sweep ready. So she's gonna and make a giant sweep. As I need Zardos, Blood Puppet, Baros, and Arliss to make a dexterity saving throw. Trees fail and wines fail. Oh, oh, Baros can actually make it. I can't. I fail. Uh, he doesn't. Damage. Oh, you could have made it with a twenty. That's you need twenty five. Oh, okay. Baros can. I can't. And how egoistically uh, of Trego to leave that space. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I would have died from this for sure, so... Yeah, quite possibly, quite possibly. Alright, so, so... I still get hit five feet up? Just yes, curiously. you do. Do I get hit? I'm no, 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 no. Only the people I need. Okay. Uh, okay, so it was one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. I'm missing somebody. I oh, you fail. All right. Yeah, okay. Fail. Yeah. So, um, that was 19, 6, 18. Well, she has a advantage with a uh, lighting reflex. So. Oh. Does she? Does she? Hang on, I'm double checking. I don't think she does. No, never mind. It would have been nice. No. Yeah, no, that's another. That's against the text. Uh, all right. So, everybody fails. Every <laughs> everybody fails now. <laughs> everybody takes. Uh, 53 points of slashing damage. Yes, I would die. That's magical? Uh, yes. Because her glaive is magical. One, two, three, four. And you watch as, especially from the blood pipe, she seems like almost draw in the blood into the glaive and as her wounds begin to heal again and that lightning burn on her arm covers up with flesh skin, fresh skin, she goes Now we're playing again And there's the end of her turn It is a dragon Oh, did, uh, hmm? did Shadow Blade come back or she... No uh, You get something else? No. No. Uh, but it is the end of her turn, so if you want to do a legendary action you're welcome to Yes, I do. I'm going to use. I guess I use one of her unarmed strikes to try a grapple. Uh, yeah, go for it. You need to hit her, right? To grapple. Yeah. Uh, yes. Alright, go for it. Uh, boy, 23. Uh, 23 actually hits. So, does a grapple? What does lightning yes. reflexes give you? Uh, extra movement speed and she has to twenty percent chance to dodge attacks, basically. Yeah. Yeah, she rolls right. to hit, chance to avoid that. Um, in that case, you do that, and it is the Dragon Leo's turn. Oh, when she gets no, that's let her action play. Well, and by the way, Aris, to uh, answer your question, uh, plants have no blood. So, she doesn't heal from that. That's nice too. It's very nice. Um, Otherwise, this I... move would be overpowered. <laughs> okay, I will land here on the ground. Okay. Uh, let me check if I get my breath back. No. Um, well, she is in my range. She is for all of your attacks. So, I will attempt to bite first. Alright. Miss. Uh, 24. 24. Oh, 24. You bite on her, and you notice that your teeth are not magical. And they do not penetrate her skin. Not oh, even no. a millimeter. No matter how hard you jump. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, that was the thing I forgot last session. Mm. Well, if that's the case, um, there are vines left to me, right? Oh, yes. There's like a the completely vine, torn up creature. wine to the left of you. Um, I will shout, Dissatisfactory! And I will attack it. Uh, it is dead. 16 to hit? It is dead. It's dead? Yes. Dissatisfactory! <laughs> um, well, I have one claw left. Uh, the tree is stunned, right? Yes. Yeah, for a long time. So we don't have to worry about that. He has eight more turns. <laughs> <laughs> to reconsider um, his life. On life. Yeah, I'm gonna... Plant life. Like, jump fly over here to this vine and attack it. Uh, okay. Go ahead. 24 to hit. Uh, 28. You hit it, it is not dead. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Uh, pam, 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 pam. Uh, pam, pam. Uh, pam, 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 pam. Uh, end of the turn. She's gonna stab Zardos. That's an initial 20. Ah, uh, how about no? <laughs> Do the cage thing. All right. So that's uh, twenty-one point of slashing damage. Plus forty-seven points after the twenty-three necrotic. And. Plus 21 and DC 22 concentration check. What cost me? Oh, okay. Also, did you roll concentration for the sweep? Uh, not yet, but considering that it's it... not coming back anyway, I don't think. Really uh, what's not coming back? Shadow Blade. Yeah. Oh, alright, yeah, because it was DC like 26, I think. Yeah, 53, right? So. I mean, he does make it. <laughs> ah, you do make it. Um, okay. Uh, it is now Tree's turn. Tree is chill. Because Tree is a stun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. No, that, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Tree's turn. Wine's turn. All right. Uh, this wine is happy with its quarry which means it's wine that uh, they are frightened until the end of their turn right i think no for a minute for a minute okay so, so they... they can save at the end of their yeah. turn again uh, but they do everything in this event right now basically yeah uh, but also an advantage against me yeah uh well wine trying to grab a blood pipe it fails completely uh wine trying to grab arlis throws a nine so Actually, it end. does have an inspiration. So that's my a nineteen. Motherfuck, my AC is sixteen. So no. Another wine for no me. No shield. Huh? He's unconscious. No shield. I'm unconscious. I can't. Let me remove uh, inspiration. You can't cast spells unconscious. Come on, Oz. <laughs> game. Yeah, I don't know. They can. All these vines can make a save at the end of their turn versus. Uh, DC twenty. Yeah. Uh, one, two. Uh, let's roll for the tree. That's a fail. What? I don't don't think you need to roll for the tree. The tree is stunned. It's yeah, but here. it could be stunned and unfrightened. Okay, this one saves actually. With initial twenty, uh, this one fails, and this one fail. Or oh, this one failed. All right. Uh, At the end of their turn. What? Blood puppet going to bite. Oh, yeah, go for it. Bite, puppet, bite. Alright, because. No. Traveled. Yeah. Uh, oh. 17 to hit. Nope. She hits the thick leather armor on her shoulders and her teeth get stuck inside, but don't pinch. Uh, now I, I think this is Miller's turn. Who's an eagle? 
Uh, it's been a while I don't since think, you last went. I don't think there's any way I can hit her without hitting anyone else, is there? Correct. Not right now, yes. So just ch mm. choose who you hate more. Paris um, is a mindless soul puppet. He doesn't give a shit. True. <laughs> the other one is a Are literal blood sure? puppet. I mean... Yeah. It's useless. Look, yeah. if, you, if you target you. her, you're gonna hit three undead and one enemy of humanity. Just, just hit uh, her and Baros. Yeah. That's fine. He doesn't. He doesn't you can, matter. You can he probably he's only hit there for the her to too. They are actually traps. They're only there so she can heal off of them. <laughs> All right. So can I drop it to where it's on Byros, the yes. um, dragon, and the tree? Yes. Yes. Basically, yeah. All right. All right. So tree fails his dexterity saving throw and takes Let's how much see. damage? Baros fails too. I'm casting it right now. Hold on. And Mother, let me check Mother. Uh, 18, she fails, wow. Um, she's actually gonna spend Legend of Resistance. Number four. So she's got a lot of those. <laughs> uh, three, uh, that's at 26. Three is still alive, although it's not looking very good. So Baros also takes, takes 26, and Money yeah, he already took him. takes 13. Uh, all right. Anything else, Milana? Uh, I'm gonna just to be safe. I'm gonna fly back. Okay. Just a bit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you got a cuckoo. Uh, you should have turned into a cuckoo, not an eagle. Uh, round yeah. thirteen, Zardos. Uh, you are a blood coffin. You spend your round yes. being a blood coffin, and the end of your round, you're no longer a blood coffin. If I remember correctly. Yep. All right. Lair action. Uh, Wait, where's I'm? I'm supposed to be. You deleted my token. I did. Yep. All right. I see you. Apologies. Yep. No, I did when he missed a step. Turn over. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You go now. Okay. So in the Corona form thing, I can uh, use a ranged spell attack. Yes. So th that used my charisma modifier, right? It says so in your character, in your sheet, I'm pretty sure, in your handout. I'm pretty sure I've put like a plus to hit in it, didn't I? I don't think I have it ready. Uh, like, there's no... no I'll make a button out of it once I know how Oh, you mean it. that thingy? Um, let's see. Um, it says you can use the range by attacking its target. With... Yes, it's basically your proficiency bonus plus your charisma uh, bonus. So, plus 12. Okay, 24. Oh, 24 hits. For uh, 3 damage? Yeah. And I can make another one. Uh, 27. Yeah, all the hits. For four. 4 damage. Yeah. So your light shines brilliantly as it sears through the air. On approach to Mother of Dragons, it seems to almost become nothingness. Anything can. Any, anything else you'd like to do? No, I'm just hovering around 90 feet doing this. All right. You are doing that. All right. On the layer action, she shall animate a tree. A tree. Is it strange that I drink with my feet? Let's use this one. Go away. All right. And it is Baros' turn. Says turn. Who at the start of his turn takes poison damage unless he's immune to it? He is immune, right? Okay. Yes. But he is restrained. Yes, he will uh, slash at this thing that is holding him. Go for it. His first longsword attack. At disadvantage, 22 to hit. Uh, 22 hits and kills. 25 damage, good. He gets rid of his restraint. Well, Necrotic doesn't... Well, it does something. Okay, uh, and then he is going to slash at her. All right, go for it. Oh, look at him. Mighty warrior. 
Yes, uh, mighty that's warrior. Eleven. And that's eighteen. Alright. Yeah. Now she looks like she's on her last leg. I take it back, he wasn't the trap. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, after him, it is your turn. At the start of my turn, I yeah. heal for five hit points. You take poison damage, which you don't care about. Yep. Um, wait, you spawned a new tree? Should I frighten this one too? <laughs> I mean, that's basically my Also, one of the vines has do. saved, so... Oh, oh no, we can't have Also, that. the one that has saved, kind of like, <laughs> under the dragon, kind of looks really <laughs> hurt. So you can throw a firebolt at it if you want. That one is also immune to uh, the fright effect now. Oh, is it? The other okay. one, yeah, the ones that already made it once are immune I now. I see, I see, I see. But I think the new ones aren't. Uh, no, there's a tree. Yeah. Um, Within 60 feet of you. I am so useful. Um, hey. I am going to, yes, shoot at this advantage at this vine here. All right. Go and for I'm it. going, wait. I do not have Tides of Chaos, I will use Tides of Chaos. Okay. So it's at normal. You hit. Come on, roll a d10. Ah, no 9, no 10s. No Five, need. Seven. It burns up in flame. Oh wait, actually it is resistant to fire, so that's... What? What are these trees? It's very wet! <laughs> what is it, a redwood? Uh, <laughs> 13. It, vulnerable. it actually it? survives, yeah. Look! Frost. Frustrated with this. Looking at how step. useful it is, made it wet. I will try and miss this step. I will roll 2d10. Uh, Here you go. Alright, 7 and 1. Uh, oh dear. Alright. One second. I can also maybe surge if I am incredibly lucky. I am not incredibly lucky. Uh, oh. Okay. So, um, Arles, or Salem, whichever. Yes. Have you ever had like a heart attack? No, I'm a little too young for that. Well, you never know. <laughs> um, well, imagine you're right now having a heart attack. That's yes. how it feels, except. The pain is piercing through your whole body, like you're being... Like needles are flowing through your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And gasping for air, you fail to cast a spell. And though the pain... Dissipates, the lingering feeling of it is still there. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Yes. Alright. Wait, what happened? I don't know. He broke a promise. Rubies. <laughs> Rubies will so say something like, I always wondered what that would look like if I cast it on level 9, as he casts <laughs> magic missile on level 9 on the Mother of Dragons. Rubies goes... I think this is a first for me. I wonder who else would conceive such stupidity. 11d4 plus 11? Roll damage. So 10, uh, since I rolled one already, so it's 10d4 well, it's plus... technically 10. 3 multiplied by however many missiles you do, because you don't roll for every single missile, you roll once, and that's the damage of each missile. That's sure. how it works by the rules, I mean. Uh, then it's two times... Three times. Wait. It's basically 11 times three. So Why is it 11? Yeah, 11, 11 times... One. Those three plus eight, yeah. 11 missiles, 33 damage. Okay, 33 force damage. Yeah. So... Kinda lost in his... Experiments and delusions of grandeur. 
Rubius unleashes this rainbow of pretty magic missiles, each of which is looking like this um, multifaceted gemstone that bursts from him and like meteor shower comes down into the ground. They pierce the body of the mother of dragons, leaving multiple large holes through which you can see through her. And she goes, not like this. And she falls to her knees. No. <laughs> and dies. No. No, this is the saddest This is ending. the best way to go. <laughs> the saddest way to oh my go. god. <laughs> and with this, no. Leos, thank you. I mean, Lucas, thank you. And with this. The Mother of Dragons is defeated. And all it took was a level 9 yes. magic missile. Level 1 spell this, saved the this day! This was my idea I, before the session started! I honestly th thought if I should have cast it on level 1 and if that would have taken it, what happened to this. No. I was, I was waiting. I was waiting for the blood puppet to kill her, cause that would have been like <clears throat> okay. What the hell? And with this, so we're gonna break. take a break and rethink yeah. our choices. This is where we.
a level nine magic myself. And Thank you. We are uh, back. Thank you. All right. So, with the mother dragon seemingly killed in the most disrespectful way uh, that could have ever been imagined, a story that certainly will be told for generations to come. You uh, swiftly dispatch uh, the rest of the plant life of this dome and then grab Leos and get him off his back and prestigitate the dirt off of him. And, well, Zardos, it's time for your plan. Alright, I cast. The, no. I fireball everybody. Uh, yeah, Trigger, you continue burning coal as long as you so do. Should I, should I uh, uh, roll yeah. the damage? We'll take a bite out of the queen, just mother dragon, because I'll um, I'll do the following. I will uh, fly up ten feet, and then just plummet to the ground, like head forward, so I can knock myself <laughs> out of my dragon form. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I will wait for Trego to inadvertently die in this moment, so I can uh, throw some healing potions at him. <laughs> I'll keep him. I I don't know how how it works, so I will just hold a greater healing potion and a small healing potion in my hands, both ready to, uh, to throw them into you. And I uh, shout to him to come down where we can reach him. Okay, uh, where, the, where the vampires are. And... I'll take it and I'll drink it. But let me. I might not kill myself. <laughs> Well, are you burning up in the air, or are you going down to burn up all the vampires? No, no, I'm going, I'm going down for sure. Well, yeah. Once, once I take a bite out of there, let's take a bite of the mother of dragons and, yeah. and uh, the blast puppet just like scares away from the light, swift yeah. like a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cockroaches are leaving. <sighs> and Barus follows the puppet, obviously, because now I control them. Oh, it doesn't matter the map. And I still matter. have six, eight hit points to spare. Oh, boy! All right. Yeah. You can take uh, the bright light thingy. All right. Uh... Stab Trigo. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh... Which potions did you give me? Uh, if you're still alive, none. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Wow. All uh, right. I, I get them only ready if you were okay. to lose consciousness. Uh, anything else um, you want to do immediately? Yeah, go for it, Jesse. Yeah, take the glaive. Yeah. Oh, wait a moment. Jesse, you yeah, were just gonna fly. She's just going to fly down to the others. Uh, are you remaining and... in eagle form, or do you turn into a woman? I'll turn into my regular form, and I'll heal. Right. I'll heal Trigo. Are you sure I'll you want to heal, heal him? Okay, go for it. Um... Elios, uh, Alice, what are you doing? I am um, gathering up the lifeless remains of my beautiful, beautiful carpet. And um... actually, 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 let me check. Let me check. Let me check. When does it come back? Uh, uh, the carpet is alive. I will hug my beautiful carpet um, and get on top of it as I wait for everyone <laughs> to. Uh, okay, okay, we fade to black on that. Ah, that's why he didn't want to marry Anna. I see. Excuse me, if you had to choose between this carpet and anything else... <laughs> and a princess? Make, wouldn't you make yeah. the same decision? Excuse me. <laughs> Look at this. Dude, you mad genius, you did it! Dude, did you see this red count on that thing? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, Trevor, you were saying? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take the lance right. away. So, um, the lance, actually, like, you watch, or more like, you don't watch, but, uh, because you're kind of far away, but as you're going down, the lance kind of, like, wiggles and detaches itself from her arm, and for a couple seconds just flops on the ground and it's currently looking like just a dark twisted braid of wines that flops for a bit like a dead fish and kind of like just curls up and it stops moving yeah okay maybe i don't want to touch that <laughs> i'm sure it's fine go for it uh 
Uh, we should probably... Burn the body? Yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> I, I would say give the body for research or something. Cause yeah, really... no. No. This what body... Are, are you... What? Did you lose a little too much blood, Trago? <laughs> probably. No, this um... is... Arliss, maybe you can disin uh, disintegrate it tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, yes. Today I will probably disintegrate myself if I try. Uh, Rubies, um, can you disintegrate it? No? Uh... Mm. <laughs> Did you take any useful spells? Or, <laughs> missile? or only fucking magic missile! <laughs> I'm mad genius. No, he doesn't have it. Okay. I'll just pick up the body for now. No, the guy works. Just... I'll get rid of this thing. Uh. Rubius goes. I go folding. It is refreshing to hear the jest with which you approach even the most serious situations, my friends. Ah, yeah, we... this truly is too much for my old age. Don't don't say that. You were the one that gave her the killing blow. Good shit, dude. Yeah, that was that was definitely the best magic missile I've ever seen, and that was the first one. So, well done. <laughs> I have no idea. Is that good? I don't know. I am uncertain what has come upon me in that moment to force a spell from me. <laughs> and yet, I have a feeling that I knew whatever, she was not resistant to this. There was a hidden genius in this move. Yeah, for sure. Akin well, to a barely born child, unthinking <laughs> yet instinctively correct. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I've uh, come to realize is that sometimes being too smart is not good. Sometimes you go have to go back to the basics, go back to your roots, and just throw out whatever you learned first. You, you know? are correct. Best, well, better is an enemy of good. We should probably retreat to a safer place. Uh, we don't know. I mean, her children are still out and about. What are they gonna do? Hide with mommy's gone. Well, they might still... grow up at some point. Oh, uh, the blood yeah, puppet slithers out of the shadows and assumes more humanoid form, and you hear Aliana form coming from it. Well, dears, I do apologize for not coming here in person, but. I just had a thought that maybe I could assist with the assault that the kingdom was planning. After all, there would be a lot of, you know, casualties among mortal soldiers, while mine, well, they can be raised again. So, I am pleased to inform you that the assault on the Blind Forest is well underway, and despite the casualties among my soldiers, it is successful. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Well done. No, I could leave it to you. No problem. I'm always so reliable and helpful. You're great. attacking the dragons, right? Yes. yes. Okay. I mean, yeah, so if this is the point, we will all decide that we are the gods of this kingdom and choose to usurp the government can become rulers. I am all ears. Then that is the point uh, where I'm going to turn against whoever makes that decision. Yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. Well, fortunately enough for us, Zardos is your king. I look at uh, 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 her and say, and to my She's... knowledge, Zardos, my uh, our so sometime to be king, will has no plans of killing all the humans in this kingdom. Yeah, it was a joke. That's okay. Uh, just don't worry, darling. Sometimes I'm too sophisticated. It happens. I mean, they're tired after long battles. Understandably. Well, sophi sophistication didn't get the killing blow here, so... <laughs> just saying. Nice and simple, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, she seemed to be a little bit more than you could chew. Uh, it was exactly the right amount, I would say. 
didn't even slap me out of my dragon form. I would call that a success. All right. Let's get out of this shit dome. We need to inform Khazar. Yeah. And maybe there are some, some dragons out and about who are still not informed that their mother has died. Can I make a request? Can we please rest a bit before we go after the dragons? I am so We don't tired. go after the gra- dragons. We just wheel, wheel around the dead corpse of their mother and say, Hey, you want a piece of this? Fuck off. Uh, the Corpse of Mother Dragons will count as place. an improvised weapon, uh, which none of you have proficiency <laughs> with, and deals only 1d4 plus strength damage. Does anyone have... It de- also deals like 20d10 psychological damage to her children, but... Uh, I'm anyone... gonna kill you with your mother! Actually, if we wait until the next day, since technically Leos did see her form... He could transform po- no. true polymorph into her, just a small version. No, 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 no. I, I, no. I, I, uh, I, when I transformed into a dragon, I expanded. Um, oh, my true polymorph. Also, for today. no, that's why I said it's tomorrow. Like, there's also like a CR limit, you know. I didn't She's recalculate her that. CR limit, but before I buffed her, I started at thirty. Yeah. So mm-hmm. no, and he can go to twenty max. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, I can look like her. I can. We're gonna take the body and everything yeah. uh, she held, I guess. Like, I don't know how you want to pick up the lance, but I wouldn't touch that. Well, there's oh, a coiled yeah. up a uh, bunch of wines that are left from her grave, and actually, now that you're looking, her body is basically beginning to not disintegrate, but like turn to soil, basically. Oh, yeah. Then maybe we just leave it here and watch it turn to soil. Watch it or turn to the feeding other... ground or the next. Soil uh, might be of value. But then Not that might... I want to sell it or anything. To who, who mother... valuable. <laughs> I've got a jar of mother dragon's dirt! <laughs> <laughs> and why would you ever want to sell that? No. Tourism. Like money. Let's honestly, Trophy. honestly let's, yes, it will let be. it wither away either in the bag of holding or here and then we can throw it wherever I don't I don't even care. Let's just make a decision and then I don't know. Okay. How about we put it in the uh, uh, put her body in the bag, we let it rot in there, and then just throw it into the ocean. We could use her uh, compo- new Great. Let's just walk to Khazar's place, and then we'll yeah. see from there. Okay. Yeah. Let's go there, let's rest up. And, and maybe maybe that was the last day where we do some re- weird shit, fuck, fucked up shit, like turning into, I don't know, dragon or vampire, or... Let's just all chill for a day the or two. In the bag of holding, you got it Khazar? Sorry, what? So I'm... So are we putting the body and the lance Ooh. in the bag of holding and going to Kazar? Yeah, sure. Sure. <sighs> Overall, I just wish this could have ended differently. Uh, just, did it I, I know, I know. No, no, I mean, she was in tune to nature. That, that's all. I know that she was evil, but... Oh, shit. Ah, uh, okay. I understand where you come from, but imagine you have a psycho killer. Uh, um, imagine you're super, super deep into yoga, and you then meet a person who's super deep into yoga as well, who turns out to be a mass murderer. I, I know, I know. Also, um, or like, you know, the king of Gaul, maybe he really likes animals, but he also really likes keeping slaves. It doesn't redeem him. Oh, fuck. I know, I know it doesn't. Okay, let's let's come on, let's. Well, that's where all your luck came from, guys. Oh no. Oh, but I. <laughs> I will float gently on the dollar towards the towards the city. Uh, I'll it... sit next to you. Well, between Nidala and Aliana having her zombie dragon parked on top of the dome. You're all 
uh, get out of here within a minute. And I assume begin... Uh, Finally enough, you all have wind walks, so you can do that. Or you can just like walk or ride or something towards the city. Uh, so which yeah. option do you choose? Fly... But not wind walk, just right. like normally fly. So yeah. you slowly start towards walking. Yeah, and as you're passing the remains of um, the golem, you see three figures like waving at you. Uh, and you see Nachnaya and uh, Damien uh, greeting you. They seem really beat up, but alive. Uh, there is a small gnome that all of you recognize as Poftin Beetlewick, the driver of the Helen and the inventor of the Moon Ark, the brother of deceased people Beetlewick, standing in the back and kind of just looking at the burning remains of the Heron's wing. And there is a corpse of Borislav laid out in front of Nachinaya. Well, this is unfortunate. Our magic was, says Nachinaya, was sadly expanded. Our fight against the mother, so I could not revivify him. But perhaps. The temple would be able to do something about it. God's willing. My experience, willing. the gods usually aren't, but... But maybe they high. feel a little more benevolent and at this moment in time. Do you need me to carry him? Your help will be appreciated. So you, your group grows in size as you continue your walk towards the city. And there as you approach the gates, they open. As many soldiers stand behind, watching you with bated breath. They cheer at first. But then, at the view of their dead commanders, the cheers grow into solemn quietness as they watch your procession close the gate behind you and those that do not need to man the walls join you quietly as you continue down the streets are you heading for Khazars? yeah mm-hmm. I will ask a soldier um, if he can go and inform uh, the patrician. At some point in the upper rings, your procession will separate. You will head for Khazars and uh, Nashna and some of the soldiers will take uh, Borislav to the Raven's Rest. While some of the soldiers have actually already run ahead uh, into the city, even before you started walking. But you enter the familiar gardens of Lady Kazar's place. The gates are half open with both stone gargoyles that have greeted you with insults almost every time you entered a gun. The entrance is closed but unlocked. And walking inside, uh, you are quickly found by Amawain who has a worried look on her face and searches for reassurance in your all faces. Though you're all being alive and seemingly not too badly maimed, is reassurance yeah. in and of itself? Yeah, we had to run, just tearing everything apart. She's yes. dead. What is Khazar? You make a precision check, you make a deception check. Uh, you make a deception check at disadvantage. I don't even have roll 20 over there. <laughs> But we were done with this. Not quite. Not quite yet. There is also an award ceremony. And of course, uh, Ralph gets a medal. Oh no. Yes! 
Oh, we should put her into Ralph. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. No, that's Do a he hasn't. Do it. Bad idea. We haven't fed him a magical I magical item though since the moth scale. We could try feeding him her glaive. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a powerful weapon. Why not use it? I mean, it's like it's a, it's a plant weapon. It's a spear or a glaive. Trigger. It seems right up your alley. One does not simply use it against. <laughs> all right. Seems fine. Uh, all right. She Emily quickly dismisses the rambling of Zardos as the delirious foolishness that it is. Where is Lady Kazar? Ah. Uh, she is incapacitated. Uh, can you bring us to her, please? Of course. It brings you into the storage room where Lady Kazar is coiled on the floor, surrounded by empty bottles of many, many potions. Uh, what happened to her? Did she turn into a drunk? What's going on? Did she... I mean, we've been warned about the effects of potions, right? So, is that... That's that? probably it. Probably overdosed. I How many to drink? Will greater restoration help? I reach into uh, uh, my she bag She is and extremely get exhausted. Yeah, it might help in that case, yeah. I, I... Uh, take out the scroll for greater restoration and hand, hand it to Melora. That way you don't have to expend anything. Alright, I'll use the scroll then to cast it. This also shouldn't burn you because it's yeah. All right. Um. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. You cast a spell, and you see Kazar kind of consciousness. She still looks, you know, like somebody who just, I don't know, spent a night in front of the John after an even harder night of drinking. I gently uh, lift her up a bit and say, "We're uh, it's done. She's gone." She, you, you like you feel her kind of like slump in your support, almost all of her weight uh, now being uh, on you. It's fucking done. <laughs> I look at the rest of uh, of us and say, "It's fucking done." It's all done. <laughs> Crazy few months, huh? Trigger cries years. a bit. It felt Enjoy. like years. It felt like years. I started at the age of fifty-one. I left Fiwat. I feel like if I'm eighty-one. I feel four years older. Um, <laughs> you look four years older. <laughs> right. Yeah, the, 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 the character had a surge where he literally got older by four years. <laughs> really? Four years yeah. Out of character. You, you yeah, look. You now. look that, that yeah. Arles like he was all kind of spindly before, but now he's kind of like straightened up. Like his back became like wider, his shoulders became wider, and there's like a bit more of a no, like, angular look to his face. That kid's seen some shit. <laughs> some? Like, ten years later, I fought a mass of dragons once. I aged four years in a night. <laughs> <laughs> it really happened. Yeah. Uh, if you, if you want to see the face uh, uh, of, uh, of someone who has faced the mother of dragons, what it does to you and your soul, look at Arnis. Yeah. Arlis before Mars of Dragons, Arlis on Mars of Dragons. <laughs> it's okay, you only went from like 19 to 23. Yeah, true. That That's why you, do you turning into a god, Malor. I mean... Yeah, you, you want to still do that? <laughs> oh! Yeah. Give it a shot, see what happens. Yeah! I want to find out. Yes. Go for it. I know, I she might still be out there. She, she might have turned into another form, I don't know. As you can see, the um, stress of the moment has everyone 
very happy and funny. Right? Yes, um... guys, you don't understand. Right now, there is the third phase of the battle happening because the third form of Mer and Mer is a bunch of dirt. <laughs> so now she's using her action grow poisonous plants. <laughs> she's gonna be done in a couple decades. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm going God form and smiting the soil. <laughs> yes, do it. Yes, <laughs> do it. Lightning storm everything. Well, uh, Lady Kazar, do you perchance have maybe a bottle of wine or ale around here? I think it's time for our toast. <sighs> How about we go really decadent tonight? If not today, yes. when then? Yes. Bring me to the third floor. I'm gonna transmute uh, the bathing pool. I'll carry I'll, her. I'll just to... get off the carpet and offer the offer Nidala as a riding opportunity. Oh, it seems that artist uh, has started to like you. He's offered you his carpet willingly. That is a big compliment. So you kind of use the carpet she, as, you know, like as a lift her mobility up. chair. And she doesn't give it back. <laughs> as she flies off into the sunset. Finally, <laughs> 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 I have it. It's mine. <laughs> this would be the point yeah. where I will... As Lady Kazar it. sits upon Nidal, you see the cracking of arcane energy passing into her body as she says in deep demonic voice, Finally, this is all I require to complete my transformation. <laughs> the ancient no. throne of Nidala. <laughs> Fools, you know not what the power it holds. She actually su summoned the mother of dragons just so she has this opportunity to steal the carpet. Exactly. Very, very complicated plan. <laughs> this is all a really she's a, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all a really complicated plan to get Alice to get let her borrow a carpet. Yes. Okay. The things people have to go through. I mean, yeah. she, she she has a weird way of making friends. Okay. The things so if people do for the threat count. <laughs> it's true. All right, we go up to the third floor. And uh, I mean, she likes. She's not gonna transmute the whole fucking bathing pool into a wine. That's kind of redundant. But uh, the bathtub, well, the pool is uh, warmed up and pleasant. And uh, before you even get into it, uh, you already see like semi-translucent servants bringing uh, drinks and medical supplies and food. Uh, into the room and placing you, them upon the many tables. Do you or Emma Vane have any level three, uh, circle three juice left? Emma Vane raises her hand. Do you know the king of Aldana? Yeah, he would want to know. I think she does. I'm not sure. She I know does. of him. Oh, uh, don't Zarda? you have a? Oh, stone. Yeah, but we use It's new day. No, we used that this morning, I think. It's a new day. It's literally new like day. 1 oh, literally a.m. Oh. Okay. Well, in I'm... case... Arliss, you want to do the honors? I think Sure, you... I'll pick up the stone and just like... Um... Never call this again. <laughs> the mother of dragons is dead. You receive an... Okay, Have a nice back. night. <laughs> Awake. You get back here. Huh? Thank you. All right. Hannah is in the castle, and I'm not home. The king is informed. Where is my booze? There's, there's, there's a lot of booze, lots of booze, yeah. whatever you want, you can have. I'll gra grab a bottle, fill fill a cup for everyone, um, and I raise my cup, and I say, Well done, motherfuckers. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. 
I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, well, to the craziest year I had in my fucking life. And I've seen some weird shit. Um, I'm extremely proud. I haven't processed this yet, but I think we might be done. Oh, well, there's still a, a castle for me to burn, but you don't have to accompany me. We with. still need to visit the genie, the gene. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah, I need to do that. Yeah. There are also still dragons roaming this land that we need to kill. Rubius goes. Well, if our plan went well, then my fellow deans must have hit most of their locations and if what's that thing he glances at the puddle of blood in the corner as said is true then the blind forest is on its path to being liberated though i am without mm -hmm. doubt certain there will be one or two that escape our hunt there's not something we cannot handle but tonight yeah. we rest can I look? I want to see where if Ralph is anywhere nearby. And then looking at Lady Kazar, who has been placed into the pool with the carpet in her robes, Rubis just kind of like walks up to the side and like sits down and just plops into the pool. Oh. I the un clothes, yeah. like I undress weird. completely in front of everyone. And there then I is. do some uh, some squats before I jump into the water. <laughs> As you do some squats, everybody hears. <laughs> Look, you killed the mother. Now we can get some deep jokes. <laughs> The range of 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... Uh, no, no, okay, no, I will save that one. Um, okay, I'll just is, jump into the water and just chill. Alright, anybody else? The water is warm, it is opaque, like whitish in color, and it's bubbly. Yes, get in there. That seems so nice. Okay. I will... Uh, undress to my uh, undergarments, I guess. Right. <laughs> you prude, prude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like <laughs> Trigo doesn't probably wear underwear. He he goes commando. Alright, sure. My man. Alright. Uh, Zeus, what about you? Uh, I'm not sure if tubs count, so I'm just gonna. Sit on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to just get into running water and I go. <laughs> like, everybody's like, this is nice. I just get it. Uh, that just gets in. That just jumps in. Ah, melting, good melting. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, as you're, sitting, as, as you're sitting down, the blood puppet kind of like approaches you from the back and quite a bit of into your ear. Well, enjoy yourself, darling. You've Earned it, just don't stay until sunrise. And I'll be waiting for you at home whenever you feel appropriate. And oh, the things we found here. Small dragons are nice, now big dragons. So... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. And no, you just I'll see. I'll be long shortly. Yeah, to like slither into the corner and disappear. Uh, Barros's corpse. Actually, like looking around, it hasn't been around for a while. Uh, so I assume already, but Zardos can like uh, hop into the pool. And as I spend time in there, you kind of can feel the like soreness in your body recover and uh, the um, like scrapes the pool count? and Does bruises. The pool count no, it doesn't. 
and the scrapes and bruises uh, kind of heal up for every minute in this pool you recover one hit point and for every mm. hour in this pool you recover one point of exhaustion yeah, it doesn't count any i'll get test the waters and... i recover no hit points because i'm um i'm i'm, I'm you're at full kind of points, full hit points. Yeah. Yeah. uh Zardes, uh do you what do you do with your book when you get into the pool that's uh, in my bag. Where's your bag? Not too far. I'm just put the, the clothes folded to the side. Right? Okay. So who's coming to the tomb with me, you know? Oh, right. So let me do that. You can't let you handle all that by yourself. Oh, a tiny bit of help would be nice. Not much, but a bit. What are you going to yeah, do sure. after that? You know, life on that genie's cloud sounds nice. Oh, that would be a nice place to be. Yeah. <laughs> you do this? <laughs> no. I'm gonna travel to another plane and live my out, out loud my life as a genie's sex slave. <laughs> <clears throat> and live my best life on the genie's castle. Yeah. I will make this genie my sex slave. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you gonna do, Dios? Well, for one, I want to learn that word of fire from Lady Kazar. Then I'm going to go to the Gaul Kingdom. And I will stand in front of the castle. And I will say, Rain fire! And sink it to the ground. And after that? <laughs> well, I might, depending on if the king allows me to do this, I would be so polite to ask him for permission. I don't know exactly how we stand with the Gaul Kingdom, so maybe I'll help him figure that out. And uh, Lady Kazar and I have some plans. She smiles weakly at this yeah. point. No. Yeah. And I still need to kill something with this bow. I <laughs> wave it idly in the air. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, both uh, Dios and Zandos, you get two points uh, for the things you. Ooh. Nice. That gives me some choices. Two points Hopefully. of what? It's like weapon uh, evolution points. You wouldn't know. You'll have to play my next DD campaign to find out how it works. I'm gonna be doing that with every weapon in it. For fighters. Yeah, it's a fun way to go. So, honey, what do you want to do? You already asked me. I said <laughs> you're more like vinegar. Maybe. <laughs> mm. well, well one thing's for sure we have a ceremony to plan an official one for our family oh family so you're planning to fuck a lot huh <laughs> a proper <laughs> wedding <laughs> you know, one thing I want to try and do is since now that the staff was infused with um, the oak's essence I'd like to see if maybe we can permanently make it grow into a new oak tree. Do you have any other place in mind than the blind forest, or do you want to try and plant it there again? Hmm, I'm not sure. Wherever it is, it should be right on the corpse of the Mother of Dragon. I am sure never would appreciate a giant forest growing like a hundred feet in front of the city. Well, <laughs> a giant, be... sacred, impregnable forest, yeah. I'm saying, if you want to do, do it even better, just go to the uh, tree, Trego Awakened, and give it to him. Give it to, what? to uh... <laughs> That seems a tad irresponsible. Yeah, it's in well, the middle uh... of the city. Yeah, it would make the city even better. No, no, yeah. no, Aldana is nice. Crichton is nice the way it is. 
<laughs> doesn't need to become a forest. It has plenty of nice, beautiful parks. I like go green. Vibe. No, go green. Just go. It's, it's a new thing. Go no, green. it's not. No, okay. No. Um. Uh, you, we, we, I. We do. You do have a bit of time to figure that out, right? Mm -hmm. There's no rush. Compared to what we have behind us, everything will feel like we've got forever for it now. So that's nice. Kazar speaks up. Well, to be fair, I highly doubt that what transpired tonight will be without repercussion. I don't think there will ever be a time when we can truly retire. What? No, don't say that. I'm too old <laughs> for this shit. No, 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 no. But no, maybe, the, maybe, there maybe there's a bit more peace. time to relax between adventures. There will adventures. only be peace from here on out. The time will be perfect. And for as long as I live, there will be no more conflict in our world. Long enough as people believe that we have done here what we have done. We'll be surprised how short their memories are. Yeah, I guess do, people do forget at some point. But maybe it buys us a couple of weeks. Maybe two, three weeks. Maybe a year. Or four. Ah. Maybe ten or twenty. That would be nice. There's a lot you can make in a couple of years. Yeah. We should probably make sure that nothing happens. Some more potions to overdose on, for example. Like, there's always these wizards that are trying to be liches. <laughs> I just. Unimmortal. I just had an idea. You can sell Khazar's bus water as potions. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Belle Delphine. <laughs> <laughs> that is immediately where what my thoughts were. And this is where uh, Leus has dunk his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, whatever it is that we might need to do, we will only do it when it comes to it. So at the moment, I have absolutely nothing to worry about. I suggest we have our servants, my servants, drag us into our respective rooms and we fall unconscious and wake up at noon. No, no, make it five in the evening. That sounds good. I suggest putting a couple O's into the long rest. Oh, oh yeah. I will. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh, do you is was that a fucking reference? Yeah, that was a sex joke. <laughs> well, I mean, unless anyone's offering I'll leave for that. I'm pretty sure there's room between Trego and Melora for you. It's actually pretty tight. <laughs> Melora is just blushing red. <laughs> You're all blushing red because the water is really hot. <clears throat> this I mean, wine seems have... to be seeping into my. Except for oh, Zardas, because he has fire resistance. Have... You have your, you have your uh, queen waiting for you back home. Yes, that I'm take pretty it sure. Like she seems very lively and lovely. So, yeah. Could have sucked. I'm pretty sure you can practice your Zardas, you suck! Quite Thanks! Because that's my joke, yeah. If anyone happens to have a teleport to give me back tonight, that'd be great. But it's not from that. I'm not uh, getting you back tonight. Good luck with that. She will probably pick you up tomorrow or something. Or whenever you want. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to call her for that. Well, batteries did. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, am I almost? I feel quite good, honestly. Honestly, I could take another fight now. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. Let's go right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to shoot my bow. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get goes. Is that another sex joke? I want to shoot my bow. Given well, given the two of them, I would say so. Probably. 
I, I make sometimes so many of them that I don't know anymore. No, just... Do I hear... Um... Yeah. The dogs from hell. No, no, no. no, no. Has come. Kairos is calling! <laughs> He's coming to collect! I was gonna say uh, Ralph learned some new sound. <laughs> I do want to know if he's around. No, he's not. <laughs> you see bubbles. That's usually what happens. You see bubbles climbing up from the tub as you a chest like. Starts you look around and you see like this strange wave going across the pool, approaching Arles. <laughs> as As Ralph starts barking at Arliss. <laughs> As right in front of your face, a giant chest jumps out of the water, does this majestic 30 centimeter flight, and plops, splashing water everywhere into your face, onto the ground, and disappears into the burning, dark, opaque waters. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> well, have fun with it. Yeah, I am gonna. You know, <laughs> you, you guys are moving to Nevo, right? Cal, Melora. Who? It's a nice place to be. Actually, Gregor, maybe Melora. it's a nice place to be. We. I mean, I don't know, but I thought about. I mean, maybe... no, no, no. It's very far away from Kreutzer, so It would be really nice. <laughs> we actually well I actually thought maybe since Tilk's dead and I'm the only guardian I guess left the so... Black Forest is fine too yeah, That's fine. yeah. Far enough away. Mm. only if it fits Melora of course and in fact now that I think about it I think that might be the best place to re to regrow the tree but I just thought of something now. Is this probably going to be one of the last times we see all of, like each other? Yes, I hate you all and I don't want to see you ever again. I doubt it. No, I mean we 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 there are still dragons to be hunted. Arliss still has that weird thing going with his sugar daddy. I need to, to get rid of this fucking eye. It looks hideous. Let me tell you. Oh, you you it's have that. Fine. You have that that uh, that, that evil that piece of shit look. Yeah. No, I no. Know. You have that villain swagger. You know. Yeah, if you, if that's you what lean I mean. in, if you lean with into extra, it, yeah. you could make it work. You could make it work. I don't. Yeah, know. with the extra age and the eye, it's, it no. actually looks pretty good on you. It could no. be your thing that you. No. That when so, someone is telling you something, and you you then say. Look into my eye and tell me the truth, and then you just go. <laughs> Tempting. No. Fine. Well, you look like somebody so going so around uh, in the dark alleys, uh, opening your robes and going, Hey, kid, want to learn some necromancy? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. my work for you. Well, you have all those robes. <laughs> You have all those robes show off during that, you know. Yeah. I mean, then I would be stepping into the uh, shoes of your father. That would be true. No? Uh, well, this will definitely not be the last time that we see each other. Maybe we will spend a couple of days apart, but... You know, <laughs> we're also loaded up with magic that distance time uh, means nothing to us anymore, so... You could live in Kreuzung, you could live in Nevol, you could live in Feywald, and we could still meet within a day. Because I goes, and I mean, I do know magic that can literally yank you from another plane of existence, so I Is know that... your faces. <laughs> all right, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I we're all good. Memory. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into getting... Make sure I have the teleportation circle down soon. We should yeah. just probably train another group of youngsters to be as strong as us. No. So when we are no Already longer around. No. 
Good job. Uh, Deus, você pode ser perception. Uh, uh, I think. Oh, no, And... this is a pregnancy thing. No, 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 no. no. Eleven! Oh, oh. Yeah. But Milor and Dragon, you're just, like, noticing that Kazar is kind of like, oh, I'm so weak. If only I have a place to rest. Oh. And you said you hate hate <laughs> I dodge. <laughs> no, you don't notice until it's too late. Okay. Yeah. As long as you. And she cast Force Gauge on you too. <laughs> Is it another word for marriage? <laughs> oh no. Depending you on who you already cast you? that on yourself. No saving throw. No attack roll. <laughs> It's Suck or die! <laughs> and you cannot teleport out of it! <laughs> Until you succeed in a charisma saving throw. <laughs> yeah, charisma saving throw, yeah. Or use magic. And use magic. I wonder if they had that in the wall. <laughs> in mind when they yeah. came up with it. Yeah, you see this bitter, bitter old person saying, I want to create a spell that, that tells the story about how I feel. Yes, I call it called a force cage. <laughs> Force, uh, he meant to call it Forced Cage, but uh, somehow it transformed into Forced Cage. Yeah. That's okay. okay. Oh, it's, it's like Gygax was like, Okay, let me get rid of the D! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that is actually something that Lady Kazar and I were planning to do. Finding a couple of, you know, people who aren't Half bad. I thought about oh, it. Too. Would be helpful. Well, it's our secret club, so fuck you. You fine. I'll uh... open another secret club with. Oh, oh! Let's make them rivaling schools, so so it all ends in a Ooh. in a fucking massacre. I can get behind that idea. Uh, that's, that's another <laughs> complaint idea. Uh, can you reach your team? Say... I mean, so even the Vec would get behind this as well. Massacre after, as always. After the shit we've gone through, this is what you want to go do next? Pass it on to some other poor fools. Well, yes, well, I don't have to later. do it. Yeah. You know how, you know how fucking exhausting inside. this was? They say I'm dead inside. They say I'm cruel. And look at you guys. What the fuck? We're just yeah. thinking about the future. Yeah, yeah my future. Old. I don't want to do this anymore. Let someone else take care of it. I think at this point, everyone here has died enough times to know that it's not always going to be a rift. Rive uh, shit's not always oh, going to work. No one's ever going to pull that card on me anymore. <laughs> Have you ever died? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, if, if, you want, if you want the kingdom to be secure, then you got to make sure somebody can handle it. Thing is not, not all the guards around here are going to be up to the task. Uh, not my problem. So yeah, a couple other, a couple schools of adventurers around the yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a bad idea. Yeah. I think you're just thinking about this all wrong, Marlis. Ah, you're just jealous that you didn't get to uh, get to grow up in a school where you learn wizardry and yes. make friends. How about uh, Lady Kazar School for Gifted Youngsters? Yes, I will teach wand fighting. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure what's worse, the prospect or the dick joke. <laughs> Both. The combination, maybe. Yeah, maybe that is know. the truly horrible part. Of it. Oh. Uh, well, um, I'm pretty sure we could use you. Fuck that shit. You have all those nature things. I don't care for trees. <laughs> She was, he thing. wasn't talking to you, Arliss. <laughs> yeah, I don't want yeah, you maybe. around. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. You want a picture of Arliss? You like put it into like a psychology um, cabinet and the right hand is like person on magic abuse. <laughs> no, he, 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 you would just be, you know talking our students out of it that it's a bad idea <laughs> we would lose people I, I don't know you do i i Buddy, honestly honestly plenty of people to the dangers of the world and what you're doing. yeah 
Yeah, well, that's just life, you know. Yeah. yeah. But if it, if it, if it, if it were a friend of mine that would make me lose my pupils, then it would be kind of partially on me, and I don't want that on my conscience. I can handle them dying by by zombies, but friend talking them out of it? No, too horrible. Just imagine, you can start a business. Lius is supplying adventurers, and Zardus is supplying zombies. <laughs> and you split the profits. We will keep you safe for a certain... Keep you safe from zombie attacks from, for a certain profits. Be a shame oh, if all zombies oh, came and we, overran your town. Yeah, we fucking make that a scheme. You attack a village with zombies, they just destroy property, and then miraculously these young adventurers come in to free them, uh, them of the zombies for a nominal fee. Yeah, I'll split the, the profit. You can raise the dead again whenever you feel like it. It's... Who of you is renaming to Orca, and which one is going to be Sir Williams? I think I could do the role is was slightly better. Uh, I'm turning into a British old man. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that's my interpretation of the role is. <laughs> I think that will be my teacher's voice. Nice, I like it. Yes. Have you ever seen? Have you ever died? I have. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I like it. That's it. I'm gonna have to order a couple of your classes just to sit in. You know, just like yeah. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna go to bed now. I am stuffed. I uh, feel like a boiled egg at this point. I think that's a good moment to sleep. Your skin is smooth and. Well, let's say you all have recovered like 40 hit points. After spending 40 minutes in here. Are you mentioning this because there's another combat? or? <laughs> well, for some of you. There's, I'm so out of fuel, there's uh, no way I'm beating the Laura. There might be some grapple checks coming for you, Drago. Good thing I'm proficient with the <laughs> athletics. <laughs> I know Melora, I think Melora is proficient with animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> you got good dexterity, right? <laughs> I mean... Okay, what, what, what more jo big jokes do we have? Come on, look, there, there look, must be look, more! Look. Thank God Melora I mean, is proficient with animal handling, because I know Trager. He can't even handle a wet pussy. I mean, we do have the writing crop and all that in the bag, don't we? <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I'll I, stop. That was a little much. I think. I think. I don't know. I I think I've run out out of dig jokes for tonight. I can't think of another one. Well, more will come later. Are they very hard for you right now? They are always very hard for me. Nothing is <laughs> nothing currently coming to you. There we go. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> With that set off, I hope you do, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hmm? What did you say? What did you want to say? Oh, no, nothing. Just another dick joke. Yeah. We should make this a yearly tradition. I gather you all here by magic and we share the dick jokes we've thought up during the year. We'll call it the We Fuck the Mother of Dragons Day. Yeah. And just be glad that this is the hardest thing we had to do all year. <laughs> that would be great. The Day of Penetration, yes. Oh Penet dear. Penetrate this day. day. It, no, it's called D Day. day. Come on. D Day. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh. Dragon Day is, day is poor. What day is it today? Which day? day. Is the day of draconic defeat. No, Triple I mean the date. <laughs> yeah, I mean the actual day. 
Oh, the 1st of June. 1st okay. of June, that's an easy that's a one. Nice day. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. It would so have been better if it if it had been the the sixth of September because it would have been six nine then. But it wouldn't be on the lines of dick jokes. Not really. Well, as you Good can night. see, I have run out of fumes for dick jokes completely. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night. I stand up, yeah, make a, a, a backwards roll out of the, the pool. <laughs> Go ahead and get dressed. And... Yeah. Uh, as you are leaving, Lady Katar goes, uh uh uh. Of course, I help her. I'm not giving them the carpet for this. Uh, I mean, she uses the carpet like, get her a bit. Higher up, yeah, yeah, but then, then really, he has no her in his arms, and her robes no. aren't that you know voluminous, but they are now completely drenched in hot water. Uh, you are naked, so uh, you walk away, I yeah. guess. Yeah, that's what it is. As long as they don't have sex on me, doll, I'm good. <laughs> well, if you have any say about this, nobody's ever gonna have sex on the other. Yes. Except Arliss. Nope. It's sacred ground. Nobody. It's sacred, it's sacred ground. <laughs> That's what you call it. Well, this hot water has made me feel even weaker. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I get the hint. Let's go. <laughs> There was no in your window, dear. I'm very tired. I'm very exhausted. Uh, and have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can still do that, but yeah, I'm just very drained. <laughs> no, literally, I, I have a negative four for yeah. my strength. Oh, all right. I will. Then. Yeah, I will uh, carry her to bed. All right. So as. All of you spread throughout the mansion, alone or together, in beds or in coffins. What's the usage of spread intentional? <laughs> Happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I started. ever say is unintentional. <laughs> that, that's going to be the name of this episode, D-Day. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the last title doesn't work anymore, so yes. Yes, it does. It still does. <sighs> Come on. Uh, anyway, um, and very shortly, and despite all the bravada without engaging in kind of practical dick jokes, you all just fall into the darkness of long rest. And you don't awake for a very, very long time. Nobody interrupts you. Not even the light of a new day. Unless some people in coffins want to get out of here because I'm sunlight. Uh, if there's a way for me to get back, yeah. Uh, the, then maybe you can find. Does Rubius have still protection? I think he does. And you can find Rubius and make him take you? Uh, yeah, do that. Uh, he has teleport, and he has one spell slot left to do that. After the long rest. No, he has seven and eight. He didn't use those. Wait, uh, what did he, he use eight on? Eight for mind blank. Oh, he did, okay. In that case, he will refuse because he doesn't want to stick around your home. <clears throat> Yeah, you can just, just send me that's it doesn't work I'm afraid that is not how magic works my friend it sure it does smell fun alright because right. uh, when walk doesn't last that much longer no. it's, it's gone by now I guess. yeah it's basically yeah. gone um alright anyway relevant how you will get home eventually, or you will get 
eventually. Um, you have your long rest, and finally, this is a kind of long rest where you don't need to worry about what's gonna come tomorrow new dragons, demons, cults. It's a proper rest. We get up next day, somewhat refreshed. Still bruised, still aching, still not wanting to get up. As covered as one night. They're all now level 22. Their maximum ability scores is 24. You get an AC that you get right now. You will never be able to use it. <laughs> and well. The world's your oyster. You've got plans to make. You've got things to do. You've got people to meet. I think we should do this anyway. Do this 